Hello, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the ATLC Grand Finals for Season 1. Finally. Yep. Man, how many games has it been throughout the weeks and all that? It's been like I hundreds. Can't. Hundreds of games, yeah. Hundreds. If not thousands, and if not Not, not thousands. Thousands of minutes of life not, coach alone. Not even close. Yeah. Anyway. Millions of minutes watched. That's... For sure. That's for sure. We yeah. had a lot of people wa watching and tuning in. Thank you so much. We want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors that make this possible, Alpha Draft and the Amazon App Store. Um, I believe Amazon App Store is actually having uh, another card pack uh, give bonus away. purchase yeah. again. So if you buy packs, I believe this weekend, you get 20% back. It's pretty awesome. So that way you can I always get, get something back. Uh, no, not you, you get... You get coins. Like you get bonus coins. You get bonus coins always, the first right. time you purchase, mm -hmm. but you get even more additional back. So, like in this case, it's twenty percent. So you get thirty percent total more. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Check it out. Amazon.com slash Hearthstone. Yep. Whoa. Makes yeah. sense. That was good. That was a really good segue. I know because I, 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 I like every week buy some packs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it is Cloud hey, Nine versus Nylum. Cloud Nine has played the least games of the tournament, and Nylum has played the absolute most yeah. of games of the tournament, especially today. They played kind of the last set yesterday. And they played all of four sets today. Yep, exactly. They, I am rooting for the Alonga. longest road to the finals. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, you you gotta you gotta root for them just because they've they've had to go through so much more than Cloud Nine has. Yeah, if I recall correctly, I feel like they also uh, played uh, some like they played a lot of matches during the playoffs as well too. Yeah, they went through uh, like everything from right. the like the, they Satellite. they were first place, then they lost yeah. the only way they could possibly go down like seventh or sixth place. Yeah. Then they went back through satellite and got through phase one point five. Yeah, it was think, just like the craziest. So thing. They, they beat Liquid in the redemption. Yeah, yeah. And then they won through the double elimination as the second seed uh, through the playoffs. And then they won through the third place spot here, being yeah. able to play every single game. So they, they literally took the hardest path possible. Really? Yeah. 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 No other worst path at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cloud9's uh, played the least games. They came in first seed, and now they're uh, first seed here in the grand finals. Mm -hmm. uh, they had the most time to relax, break down their you know their their wins. I think Kalento actually was bored by falling asleep because he was so yeah. bored. I think Strifecrow was just playing Smash or something. Yeah. He, he wasn't even listening. Yeah. I was trying to talk yeah, to him yeah. beside people. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. you know, Ekai was doing e-cop things by the pool yeah and uh so that that, that kind of means they're in good spirits so yeah. you can argue yeah. that momentum is on island side because they have a lot of wins at their belt they're very they're hungry the adrenaline rush must be literally crazy. and metaphor yeah yeah like i can't imagine the momentum there's just mentally like tice was telling me he's, he's in a rush right now he can't believe what's happening mm -hmm. um and i'm yeah. guessing that like that those high spirits might carry them forward because they they are tired uh, wow. After like so many games today. Okay, another aspect to the match is right. that uh, Cloud9 is playing for the first time in the second stage of the tournament, which yeah. is the the finals. They mm -hmm. they qualified here from the first stage as the first seed. That's why they're playing the, for the first time in the grand finals, which uh, means that they just haven't shown these decks at all. Yeah, uh, the teams were allowed to change the decks from the previous days uh, uh, compared to today. And, uh, you know, all the other teams have had to play with them. So, uh, I mean, Cloud9 has seen three ga two games, right? Two games of Nihilum uh, with their new with decks their already. New deck, yeah. So they basically know every detail of every deck. They took notes. Yeah. Uh, Shrive Crow, you know, as much as we were teasing that he was, you know, goofing off a little bit, he actually took notes. He was literally doing that. Yeah. yeah. As we were casting, he was writing down right. every card. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to know those tech cards. It's important to have the edge, and I guess this kind of this kind of double pronged advantage to being first seed. It's like not only do you have to play less games, but you also get to know the tech cards that are in your opponent's decks. It's also important to know that Cloud Nine qualified to the Archon uh, Ooh, right. live tournament Ooh. as the the first, first seed. So they had they had advantages going in and advantages going out. So new card. Yeah, well, not he so had, much. It wasn't in there. Oh, it's the Mark of the Wild. That's right. No, it's not new. It, was still, it wasn't No, there. we never saw it drawn in the oh. previous days. Well, it's we it was there with Living Rose. With Living Rose. Well, like, there this, has to be a reason it's in there, it's, right? It's called Buff Druid, but this is, I think, literally the only card that actually reasonably Buff. triggers yeah. these sisters without you doing some weird counterintuitive stuff like Wrath in your own. Yeah. Game. In all seriousness, that's, that's a triple keep, I believe. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a really good opening. Yeah. yeah. That's a turn one, Dark Bane, turn two, Mark of the Wild, hit for eight. Turn one Dark Bane, and like, I, I wouldn't be... Like, Sick. Snipes like they're mad scientists. I have to wonder, though, like, is Freeze Mage was. just so much better about, like, against this deck than against the typical Druid? Because the deck, like, the minions are supposed to be a tiny bit smaller when you mm -hmm. play Druid of the Panther. Like, in this case, you can't tell the difference, but... Druid of the Saber. Uh, the Saber, yeah, that's right. What's the name? Of what did the I say? Panther. Oh, the what are you going to do? Ideas. <laughs> right. Oh, God, please. I'm sure yeah. it'll happen sometime. Yeah. Yeah. They're We're, literally going to go through every single animal kingdom. Yeah. If Hearthstone truly lasts for hundreds of yeah. years, you're like the Lion Kings. 
We'll literally have every single genus represented in Hearthstone. Yeah, probably. Yeah. All right, well, here we go. You're the worms. Sadness for Tice. <laughs> Holy cow. I have never seen that. Really? Cool. No, I okay. have never seen it's that card in Mark of the Wild. Yeah, I've never seen this. It's, this it's, actually, crazy. it's actually really, really yeah. dangerous. Like, Dice is probably going to take, like, three attacks. He might even consider Ice Lance. Like ice like, Barrier. No, you Ice Lance oh, you, you and just... Coin Fireball, I think. Uh, ice Lance, Coin Fireball. Mm. I don't think you I, you waste five... You waste an Ice Lance to gain five, so do you? So, you want to just, like, take another five ice damage Lance against Coin Druid? Ice Lance, Coin Fireball? Do, do you really want to take another five against Druid? Maybe I think you can definitely ration out Coin Fireball, but... But maybe not the Ice Lance? But then if you're not... You could always Ice Land something later for five if you want. Plus, you have the flexibility of using I, it. I, I guess you're right. I think it's okay to Ice Lands, though. Because you know that this deck's more aggressive by nature. So, like, you're not going to be using Ice Lands for, like, finishing potential against Druid that might be healing with Ancient of Lore. Right. You're going to be dying through Savage Lore. So, yeah, this is... Uh, the scary part is taking too much early damage, I think. More so than anything else. Oh. Interesting. Sil uh, so he can. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, so he yeah. can like unsilence it. Oh no. No, that sounds horrible. But, Please don't. <laughs> but, I mean, the point is to be as aggressive. Ag aggressive is Innervate Keeper, but that the makes face. you a lot, a lot more vulnerable to Doomsayer. Innervate Keeper face, but then you lose your board to a Nova anytime it hits. So, so what, what you're doing is you're really hoping you draw something that costs six or less that isn't situational. Yeah. Uh, what are we talking about in that deck that does that? I mean, we're talking about Druid of the, the Saber, uh, among other things. Um, they have yeah, the Shredders, like, of course. and like the cards. Uh, yeah, there's like... All, all of the wilds. cards. Yeah, they get garbage. Oh! That's pretty mm. mediocre, but... I mean, it sets I up guess for you more damage I mean, you don't actually have yeah. creatures that would actually get killed by a Doomsayer, plus you have lots of damage. Mm -hmm. So I think you just lay in more damage here. It's, yeah. I think it's pretty easy the force of nature really dictates that and the the styles go for the arcane intellect or the acolyte of pain now that you've seen keeper acolyte might feel oh yeah maybe frostbolt ping is good enough i don't know i don't think you're really threatened by two damage and you have to draw cards at this at, in at this game point. to actually win yeah so i think whatever you're doing it, it's a card draw option it's not a frostbolt option okay i was considering maybe turn five uh the arcane and frostbolt perhaps oh that sucks <laughs> Uh, does it? Roots. You spawn two one ones. You attack into the acolyte. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, Never mind. It sucks. sucks. It sucks. It's I like two damage. He's gonna so... swipe the acolyte. Here. It's two damage to face. It's good, Chris. Well, you're gonna push out the one ones here. Yeah, you want the one ones to kind of tempo it a little bit. Um, you'll you'll probably get uh, two damage anyway because it's unlikely the mage will just ping twice. The mage is behind on tempo right now, so you get the two damage plus you take uh, some tempo back. Yeah, so I think you just ping an Ice Barrier. Oh, never mind. Nice Code pickup from Tyus here. Yeah, Tyus played, I think, was it Hyde that played two and Tyus was... Tyus always plays one from what I've seen in his uh, freeze mage. So. Hyde plays one. I wouldn't it, imagine... The Code Nicole just replace a Blizzard because it's faster and better against aggro. Yeah, oh, hello. A human juggler. That's a minion. And suddenly we are at 14. <laughs> yeah, with... The fact that you have Force of Nature and Innervate in your hand, so you can draw the Savage Roar. Yeah, and I think and the Thais, Triumphant's complete. You literally win the game even if uh, Thice Ice Barriers if you draw Savage Roar. I don't know. Ice Barrier, Frostbolt looks. Do you still win through that? No, you have to Ice Barrier and Frostbolt to not die. All but, right. but if you're Thice here, you have to assume some level of risk. You're not going to play around getting comboed off an Innervate next turn. Are you serious? Ooh. Oh man, there's a chance the game's just over right there and there's like two outs right away. Drew to the Claw wouldn't this cut is it. a big way to cut it. Drew the Saber uh, is... Oh, Drew the Saber I think was one off, wasn't it? Uh, this is still two. how much damage? Two and off. And 12? It's an extra Drew the Saber, same exact thing pretty much. Except it buffers one of your minions. And um, now you're kind of afraid of like Flame Strike and other things, so that way yeah. you're really far off. Um, if you just go full face, I think that might be your best chance. But then again, if you expect heal bots or ice barriers, can you can you not kill the emperor with a hand like this? That's the problem. Do you think you can land the lethal? Uh, it's so hard to say. I think I think you actually force the nature innervate, um, and you just push for two damage to face with a with a treant while taking five, because you know you're not you're not going to die unless you get Lestrade. Yeah, I, th I think he's going to keep his combo, ultimately. Yeah, full smork sounds like a plan. Man, he's so close. If you innervate Force of Nature, you could find the second Keeper and not have to deal with the Ice Barrier. Or Swipe, or Living Roots. Yeah, there's a few owls that just <clears throat> bypass the Ice Barrier, whereas if you don't do it now, then that could be developed, and yeah. it's putting you in a bit of a weird spot. I mean, Emperor Thorson leaving it up is okay if you anticipate the game ending the following turn. Right. 
he only benefits off of having one round of reduction. Uh, sometimes, versus... yeah. Well, all Tice has to do is stay alive one turn, then Elstraza comes down, and he has a, a pretty good buffer. But I don't think you want to play the anti heal bot here. I think because you didn't get comboed last turn, it's unlikely you would combo this turn. So, I might so do, you want Elstraza and then heal bot. No, I might go for heal bot for Osbolt. You might Elstraza offensively. I really don't think so. No? Okay. I think you're right, apparently, based on this. Uh... It's just when, when you're behind against a bad matchup, you like every turn you have to assume some level of risk. Yeah, I mean if you at least ice barrier, then I guess it kind of does the same thing as heal bot. Yeah, you're right. Oh man. Whoa. One off lethal. Wow. One and off Shrefko, lethal. I think he, he might go for it. He, do you have a choice? Uh, I mean, yeah, you have a choice. Okay, you what's the could, choice? I mean, the, the choice is the choice is one turn and hope the, that you can kill him right the away. Prob the problem is this. If you attack into it with a hero power right now, mm. well, first of all, you won't combo. But the second is that he might have a second ice period. Yeah. You might just like play it and you're really really out of range. If you want to call him on his bluff and play that against Force of Nature, then uh, and you find out it's Ice Barrier, then you lose that damage that you could have had. Strike was also one mana off lethal. Yeah, he's one mana, one damage. It's like a typical, uh, oh, what happened? Oh, very typical. Yeah. Yeah, and now uh, the Alex Straza just puts it out of range. Yeah. The 14 heal. That's Ooh. just GG, basically. Pretty much. I mean, I don't see how Strike finds any lethal past this point, unless we miscalculated and we're just bad like usual, but I don't I know. think Strike couldn't afford to play around anything here. I think he's basically all in. He was actually. I think. Or something. Okay. He could. But... Yeah. Both uh, Ice Barrier and Ice Block did the same thing, so Strife knows he's all in here. He just hopes that um, Dice doesn't have it. Uh oh! And Dice but has he's it. got it. Yeah. I would. I would even Frostbolt Ice Lance face here. He's done him good. That doesn't really matter. Come on. Why not? Because you have Ancestors. Okay, that's that's a good reason. <laughs> so really you just go like Archmage, Blood Mage, and then play all the spells. So, yeah, I guess, but at this point, the uh, Antonizers live too long. Like, Shrefko yeah. can, like, legitimately concede, even though he's at 28 health. He's been had. Yeah. You got me. Oh, well, Nihilum gets the first game, then. But, yeah, it's, I mean, realistically, there is a small chance that, that Tice plays everything somehow wrong. plays terribly, but yeah. I think it's below 1%. It's lethal. Here. It's below like 0 0.1. Isn't it lethal here? Uh, with Blood Mage? With Arc Mage? I mean, can you even oh, play? Right, yeah, you can do another it. Fireball. Yeah. That's right. You're right. Great point. That's so funny. All right. Well. <laughs> That's so funny. You seem very amused. Well, I can't use the Fireball if he plays no, Emperor. He plays if he plays the Thanos. Yeah. Eight. Uh, seven, fifteen. And then you heal Blood. Oh, no, he didn't have lethal. He's 21. Yeah. Okay. We're awful. <clears throat> All right. Just wants to heal up. Good enough. Make so. it so he absolutely cannot lose. Wow. wow, that was a crazy game. I really thought Strivecore was going to be able to put pressure on Thais, despite the fact that his board was pretty small. It was just Ida's Dark. Honestly, if, if you look at it, it came down to that Ice Lance on the crazy opener. Yeah. And if, if Thais didn't do that, yeah. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. That was the deciding factor yeah. in that game. It was a good suggestion. Uh, it's just like as soon as you talked about it, not just a little bit, it made a lot of sense because it is aggressive deck. It doesn't have Ancient of Lores. Mm -hmm. Where you need that reach damage mm -hmm. because yeah. what happens in the traditional freeze maze versus druid is the druid pressures, um, and then you have an Alex Straza opportunity sometimes. And if you do, then your opponent just ancient lore heals himself, and you need extra reach damage. Yeah, that's but difficult Lance, to find without the ice lands. Yeah, at ice that point. is just a stall. It's basically buys you a turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's uh, one point on the board. Traditionally, that's meant very little, but that is with a deck that has struggled to gain a few wins in the last few games. The freeze maze. Yeah, it's one of the weaknesses of Nylum's lineup, and. Uh, yeah, and it's it's kind of like throwing your worst deck out there. I don't know if it's the worst deck, but it's not the best. Yeah, uh, it's it's probably safely in the lower half. To get a win with that deck is is you know a bit of a bigger deal. Yeah. What other deck do they have that actually just Druid's looks good. pretty? Uh... The Druid is supposed to be good for the Druid player, but this type of Druid I think is maybe a lot weaker. Yeah, uh, against it's it. true because the mid range pressure Druid is. It's like for the same reason mid-range hunter is really yeah. powerful is because mm -hmm. like you just can't really guarantee the board clear and uh, they have so much ways to reload the hand versus aggro is very all in on the board so as soon as you dealt with it one time it was gone so strike yeah. momentum was cut immediately and the hype train for Nylums keeps on going it's just not gonna stop yeah five minutes can any team oh, stop man. them. 
Yeah, really the, the weak point uh, that's still left on Nihilum's team has been this handlock uh, or demon handlock of Life Coach. Yeah. So, um, But it's got Kalento in its sights. I mean, you look at that Dragon Priest and you look at the Patient Oh, yeah, Warrior, if it lands on the Dragon Priest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've, I've actually lost three games against Dragon Priest, but it takes, <laughs> it takes some terrible luck yeah. to actually lose against Dragon Priest as demon handlock. Uh, Demon Handlock is uh, is just a deck that maybe if if you get the Molten's often the priest has no answer. We actually know that uh, Kalento has the one light bomb, right? Yeah, he does, but he's not playing like the super control. It's more minion based, right? Right, right. a little Which bit is, more aggressive. Ah, oh, such a shame. I just want to see like more of that action because I want to see like the one legendary Sorry. that like no one expects to just do some crazy full stuff. Reaper. Yeah, faux reaper to come oh, out, or like I'll take you know, what, what if you get like the thermal plug mech engineer, whatever card, and then you just like, use <laughs> thermal plug, and then you just <laughs> with use, like, patrons, you just use like leper gnome to kill your opponent. Okay, no, that, that's unfortunate. I, I really want to like, see like a that, lot that's of patrons just cool stuff, you with know? faceless or something. All right, all right, I'm in, deck. I'm in. Um, at this stage, I think uh, it's still uh, both both sides have very strong decks, a lot of options. Um, literally, you can do anything. Uh, I actually think at this stage in the tournament, Hunter, uh, from teams have. Uh, often in the past, just rolled dice. To I might play the handlock from Life Coach right now. Tips. I mean, you you have there really is chance. there really is very little strategy uh, at this stage still early on. Yeah, actually, wait, how does the handlock from Life Coach fare against the Strife Crow, uh, Strife Crow's Druid? Because if that's the case, then the only two sort of bad matchups would be the Hunter and the Secret Pally to an extent. Uh, so that would leave it like a sixty six percent good field assuming i would imagine it's still pretty good for yeah the same reasons. okay like, basically the cards that are weak against handlock are the are the cards that don't um do enough and it's usually the mid-range minions against like the big threats okay mm -hmm. so like if you have drew the claw and they have like mountain giant like you're not doing anything yeah, yeah. Um, but that was like traditionally before combo arrived now you still have the tempo cards you still have innervate you still have like shredder and even these light bane sisters which makes it or sorry the the bane the one the Welcome back. Hey guys, uh, yeah. sorry we're down a little bit. Uh, there's always some tech issues with uh, these type of events, so we're just going through the motions, going through that. But uh, fortunately, this time around, none of the games themselves are interrupted. Uh, I think if uh, if Thais was denied the game there, uh, we would have we would have seen I just have that on Reddit. I, I might have rioted. Yeah, I might have joined it. So hopefully. That Hopefully it won't happen again, yeah. um, and uh, certainly it, it didn't affect the uh, the outcome at all so far. Um, just to recap, I think we saw the first game where Thice with his Freeze Mage yep. took a victory over a Strife Crow's Druid. A close victory at that. Close it was a one health at some point. So. And we're going to try to go underway here. We have Ecop queuing up with Hunter against Life Coach's Warlock. They basically decided the matchup as uh, we were having those technical issues, so this one was locked in from, uh, from before uh, yeah. we went down. So, e with the Hunter, I think that's definitely a good matchup. Maybe Demon Headlock's got a bit of a better matchup in that case. It's interesting. I mean, we were actually talking about this downstairs uh, during one of the breaks. Whoa. Where... The game is underway. Okay. Well, let's do this then. There's Double Owl in uh, e -Cop's hand and a Worgen. Typical e -Cop. Yeah. Yeah. That was but... from Fight Night back then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. It hasn't changed, right? I, I can still recognize yeah, the doggy on his shirt, man. Look I do that. remember that this was the moment where uh, he beat Trump in some match and he, like, used Alakir. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That right. right. card was considered awful. Well, all right. Uh, at least uh, at least they're up. They're going. Yeah, Life Coach, uh, they had the pictures up instead of the images, so the intimidation is not quite mm -hmm. there, and you won't see him mumble to himself. Uh, but, you know, those two teams, even though there's a lot of stress for getting that first place, they're still somewhat relieved by the fact that they've hit a really comfortable spot in the... Well, this is uh, this is somewhat of a hybrid slash face hunter that we're actually seeing from Ecop. Yeah. And um, the other thing that we, we were talking about downstairs earlier was the fact that none of these new demon handlock decks actually can run Sludge Belcher anymore. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. And, and, and that uh, really say, affects yeah. this matchup more than any other because Sludge Belcher denies all those small creatures so much better than some of the other taunts do. Yeah. How outrage are you on a scale of one to ten, Frodan? That there's no Belcher in the handlock. Uh, pretty pretty sad. Okay. Pretty sad. I thought it was originally regular handlock first, but oh. uh, yeah, you're you're right. Generally speaking, but the, uh, the, the lack of Belchers uh, really makes it difficult. But at the same time, there's two owls, so it's like realistically, Wouldn't how matter. how successful would it have been? In fact, it would have given him some opportunity to use these owls because most likely one of them is just gonna sit there for a kill command activation. Yeah. Plus, of sheep, no. 
Oh god. It always feels like Master Swordsmith is like more common than it feels like. We've yeah, seen like Master three of them this right? turn, yeah, right? Like, it's like always there. Is very common. Yeah. It's actually rare, but That's well. correct, Noxious, four hundred points. <laughs> <laughs> what if actually the the minions you got were in, like in order of rarity, you would much like you would get many less Lord Walker Cho's, unfortunately. Yeah, and a lot more like explosive sheeps and stuff. But the thing is, you get a lot fewer doomsayers. I would actually appreciate if the rarity was inversed. If you right, intentionally you more got more legendaries and epics. Oh, you okay. know what? I could, could dig that. So you get some really high value in chips, well, right? If you got like, doomsayer like ten percent of the time, people would really reconsider playing right. Treader. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, if you craft um, Sneeds, it's like a really high chance of getting a legendary minion. Yeah, I think it's a great. It's a great yeah. call. Yeah. So it's okay. high value. Yeah, it's it's a really high value right. series. Um, Crypt's like, thinking real hard, but the the, <laughs> the key to that troll no, was that Sneed no. spawns a legendary mini nerd. Of course. Does it? No way. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, all right, so we see the uh, dark bomb kill and the master swordsman. I mean, he's thinning the board a bit. Didn't play healbot. You know, in some cases here, I might have played the healbot myself just to make sure that I was. Uh, I may have just uh, gone face. As, as the face. Headlock? Yeah. As a handlock? Face. Okay, face. I think going face as the the hunter is generally the only not a play. not a really good idea uh, in that scenario because of molten. Fact, yeah, the fact that you don't really have a way to get past the molten's outside of just the one kill command. But when you're like have the arcane golem and everything prepared, I think it's fine. Firebat so, was t telling me about this that. Um, the problem with face hunters is if th the second you don't include like high main, you can no longer threaten the big board ever. Yeah. So you're always just playing the chip away game. Well, mm -hmm. speaking of that, I mean, we look at uh, Molten Giant with a Dark Bomb trait plus heal bot. Um, I mean, with a 16 health Warlock, and all you've got is a Leper Gnome and no Chargers, mm -hmm. and there's another heal bot, I think. Life Coach must feel really safe on that hand. Yeah, this is really bad spot for the face hunter because now he's on the three turn clock. Um, which is going to be extended because of Jaraxxus and Nalganus. Yeah, the double protection. And heal by. And heal by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just don't lose. There's just like no way to handle it. Yeah. The thing is, you kind of want to stall heal bot one turn, but mm, mm, you have you have Jaraxxus and Nalganus, so it's like just survive turn eight and you win. Yeah. Yeah. Drop them one after the other. I mean, he might sound solve the Malganus, but Draxus is at least guaranteed to come down. Sergeant, just to avoid three damage or the eight damage, I, perhaps. I think his rationale is that next turn he only has enough men to owl kill commander hero power. So yeah. abusive sergeant needs to come down for the two damage anyways. But to the body. Yeah. They keep, he's saying like I need to win in the next two turns. Two turns to actually because my opponent will kill me in three turns. Mm -hmm. uh, it's um, gonna look really awful. But that that, that abusive might actually be two damage. Yeah, legitimately it could be, but he used one of his chargers, and he wants to be mana efficient, and I think it's one of those scenarios where if he draws quick shot and other cards like that, he wants to be, he wants right. to be mana efficient. I think he actually leaves the Leper Gnome up. I think he wants to play Malganus and then trade into it. It Next does two damage that way anyway. Yeah. I, I think also you don't want to miss eight damage. I think that's the big thing. Right. Uh, as much as you feel very secure in your spot, it's just you don't want to give Hunter more time than necessary. Mm -hmm. There was this one game. Actually, I think you were playing it with Artosis. Like you played an insane amount of heals. Mm -hmm. You like ganged up your antique heal bot, and like I think you healed for like seventy. And HP you were still and you still lost to Face Hunter. Yeah, because like it's just you give them time, they just keep doing a lot of damage. I do believe that Face Hunter was running like Reckless Rocketeer though, so that wasn't exactly a fair <laughs> game. But it's uh, a it, super face hunter. Right. It's like the next evolution. Yeah, it's, it is the final form. Yeah, just type in charge. <laughs> and put in everything. Bluegill Warrior, Reckless Rocketeer, put in the Stormwind Knight, yep. even uh, Captain Skycrag. Well, there is a chance that uh, Ecop takes this, right? Because I'm looking at this and I'm... I'm if Malganus falls down and he silence. sounds... Like, if another kill command gets picked up, that is lethal through Malganus. That's true. Um, what else can you do? If you Jaraxxus, you actually can't die. If he trades the Lepernome now, and Malganus never gets to trade with it, like, there are many more outs than just the second kill command. Mm -hmm. So, I think the trade would probably be... Well, it's the same okay. amount of damage. Uh, two face oh, yeah, damage two or face. two damage off the death rattle. Yeah, you don't miss it. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, it's the same amount. Noxious lied. Life coach is like, what? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, in his mind, it's like he needs to get... He just wants to get this beast out just in case he draws anything else, too. 
But the Melganus here. All right. Well, like, actually, I, it Pretty looks good. like it looks like Draxus would have been safer. Yeah, that's uh, what I was saying. Like, I mean, it's kind of inconsequential. No, if if you have, oh, there's no kill command there. Yeah. I mean, the fact is, uh, you silence this and you kill command hero power, but you still need three more damage. And if he did that, he only had. Like, he had to draw like, the Like, like, oh my god. Uh, am I dead again? Oh, no. Is that gonna be another Eloise turn? Come on, come on. Come on, Blizzard. Yeah, he's like it. really worried. Thank oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Life coach! It's a bluff! Thanks. It's a bluff! Thanks. Yeah, he's like, oh, <laughs> oh. Come on, play it, play it, play it, Eco. <laughs> <laughs> Life coach won't concede. Life coach is not the is not RDU. Yeah. Well, but I then mean, again, I wouldn't concede in this plot either. You right? should not concede. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of money on the line. Life Coach gets a 2 0 lead Ooh, for Nihilum scary in moment. a really bad matchup. I feel like that's happened to me on ladder like way too many times. Yeah, yeah. the d double kill. Thanks. Stuff. Thanks. Thanks. Rope, Rope goes out. Doesn't yeah, happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hunters are actually pretty good at trying to bluff at least. Uh, Miles wants to say something. Hello, Miles. All right, hey guys. Um, Hi. we're gonna bring down the stream again for ten more minutes. Okay. To solve more tech issues. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right. Okay. Cool. cool. That's what we're gonna do right now. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. So right I'll see now. you guys shortly. Ten minutes. All right. Welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoy the break. We're gonna be continuing the series between the Hillam and Cloud Nine. They have a two-zero lead after the. Uh, I mean, you were telling me the matchup wasn't that lopsided based on. No, uh, I, I really don't think it was. Okay. Um, well, it's... Face Hunter just apparently it can't be bothered to play around Moltens. So if you get Molten, no, you lose, it, it, and and you do a lot of you do yeah. a lot of chip away damage. So if if the Warlock has a bit of healing there, a bit of taunt here, a bit of healing there, it just keeps up with all the damage. It's so uh, yeah. I mean we saw we saw that second variation play out in that game. It comes it always comes down to the last few hit points, but it's one of those things again like we always talk about with um like freeze mage versus patron for example, it's mm -hmm. just like you either barely kill them over or a lot of times it's like you just rubber band up and you like you never had a chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but at the same time it always has really one close moment. Um the reason why is cuz face hunter's damage is very linear and then you have something like mid-range hunter which kind of grows exponentially or you know more yeah. aggressively. Yeah. The the idea is you, you play the high main, you play maybe another creature yeah. with it, and you leave the opponent at like 14 or 16, and yeah, they can't like 20. Yeah, and he, it's he, like you hit with low yeah. feb and high main and kill right. command hero powers. Like, oh, that, that was like 22 damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It starts with like 2, 3, and then suddenly ramps up like 10 and, and over. Anyway, so lineup wise, do you think they'll try to go for RDU to just seal one game on each of the players to avoid the bench? or Perhaps, perhaps. Yeah. We actually don't know what RDU's situation is. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he did adjust his sleep schedule, but he is playing. Uh, he is playing from home. Yeah, very from sweet. Romania. Yeah, and uh, there is uh, a Your sizable home. time difference uh, for him. It's basically yeah. like seven in the morning or something mm -hmm. right now. So that might be a pretty yeah. horrible experience. Uh, depend depending on how much he actually adjusted his schedule for yeah. this. The adrenaline must be really high in the system, though. I'd mm -hmm. imagine he's on the rush right now. Just yeah. looking at the, the position of his team, um, just with getting second place. You know, making sure that his team uh, went through. That probably yeah. gave him the momentum. Dreamer's priest. Oh. I, I think this is an okay pick from Nylum because. They figured ECOP, they don't want to risk getting benched early on. Yeah. It just kind of makes it stupid. Even though it's not as consequential, you just don't want to take any risks like that. And ECOP's lineup with like Zoo is definitely better against the Druid, but uh, they got outthought by Clento picking the Priest here. Let's see if Thais is as good as he always is at getting the wild growths. And well, so far, so Captain good. Darnass's right? Aspirin and the Inner Oh race. man, this is either amazing or terrible. Well, it's looking uh, pretty amazing. It's not, on the follow -ups. It's not terrible. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen worse. The really interesting thing is you can turn you, one emperor. If you turn one emperor, you like, lose. How? Well, you you can't say that for sure. No, but, I think you you it's an all in. It can't like, be death. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, there is it. no answer. There is no answer that turn. Yeah, and but, you can't say you lose. Okay. Just by based off that. Oh, there like, is an answer. You have to have a shredder I think, to justify shield, it, right? fire. Oh god. Would you put put it past are the lento? Really, are we really playing that game? <laughs> I mean, I, I could see I guess... the crazy all in right now. I mean, if he doesn't get death, then he gets ten damage in. <laughs> yeah, like you can't kill it with doom. Like if you play Doomsayer, for example, then you actually can't kill that either. Yeah, but I don't know about like I don't know. I feel like if you're into warmer stations, <laughs> what are you getting discounted really? It's not about that. So it's a five-five commanding sees the board, and okay. you're going to be able to play things for free, and that ramps too. Oh, that villain's not going to work. 
Yeah. I mean, Kalento right now is in a world of hurt, but I think he's going to stabilize, maybe, depending on what the top deck is from Thugs. Yeah. And, and look, he, he curves out yeah, this is for the next turn. He can drew the Klonix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's insane. I don't think, see, like, this is why it's, like, really dangerous to be like, well, this is, like, you, well, you get removed and you lose. Because, like, the whole point is that Druid can run dry, but he actually used cards that would run dry. Like, if you drew another Innervate, he mm -hmm. actually wouldn't play anything. But most likely, he could play whatever minion came Well, uh, never mind. I mean, I guess ultimately you're right. I just, I've seen too many of those all-in plays go wrong, so. I wouldn't have done it. I would have probably gotten punished uh, for not doing it. Well, I think the alternative was... Even worse. Just as bad because yeah. if you let Drew, if you let Priest take the tempo, yeah, then things like Velen start, chosen, start yeah. being yeah. a big problem. No okay, makes sense considering I think Dragon Priest is actually the biggest threat to Druid that we've ever seen come out of Priest. Yeah. Oh, that's a big card. Yeah. Because yeah. without that, he didn't have the the Dragon plus one attack taunt battle cry, which would have made it so that creature literally dies for free. Yes. All right, swipe trade. Well, you'd have to at least play the shade prior to that, I'd imagine. Oh, I think if you do a swipe trade, um, you'd consider throwing in the Darnassus rather than the Druid of the Claw right, because right. you know he has a dragon, and he you would be threatened by uh, yeah by Blackman Corruptor, which he has. I mean, we know he has that, but uh, when when you're looking at four blank cards. You have to imagine these situations to make this play. Are you ever mad that they Cabal Shower Priest your Darnass' Aspirin? <laughs> That's true. Are yeah. you ever mad? I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, I might even thank him. I, I, he might, I actually, might even send a thank you card. Yeah. I, I think you might go like Ecop style or Forsen style. Oh, that was Firebat versus the... Uh... There, there is a legitimate case to playing Wild Growth here. Mm. Um, but what are you... That's the, kind of the same argument I want to bring up as like... The well, Emperor all in. I mean, it worked out. Oh, and he does it. But... It's about like making suicide sure, the Darnassus. Man. Yeah. How does he get punished here? Like, I mean, there's no Nova. Again, he's playing yeah. into into some. He's making a play that has no punish. Yeah, I, I like this play because six mana is not really that good. It's usually just force of nature, mm -hmm. and the you already played the six drop that's in your deck, which is Emperor Thorson. Um, he might have Sylvanas, but. I think he can generally play pretty much anything as deck barring seven drops. The other thing is you're you're really screwed right now. Um, How good is Twilight Whelp with Velas Chosen ever like on the following turn? Mm -hmm. uh, that's not, that's not a, it's a bit too yeah, late though. If cool. there's a trade, at least it'll kill the Druid of the Claw. Oh man, that's so a, that's good. A big draw. Yeah. Whoa. Pull the trade. Yeah, you can attack because you know there's no. There's like Madness a very so. low risk of Shadow Madness. Kaleido's actually shaking his head. Oop. He's oh. frustrated in a game of Hearthstone. Well, he's still, weird. He still can just shoot down stuff with his Blackwing Corruptor. Yeah, you can even power chill. It's kind of a insurance against the Druid of the Claw trading away. Yeah. But Thais is still looking eight damage on board plus the Savage. Or if he picks up another Savage, or how, does he have it? Simply eight six six. Yep, that that okay. is lethal. Yeah, so I think you just like push face and hope something sticks. You push face because there's not an efficient trade. Yeah, there's no want, good trade. If you want to toss in the Savage Roar, you can't play the Pilot Shredder, which doesn't feel good. very efficient. And you know the Blackwing Corruptor will be able to pick up the kill on the Drew the Claw anyways. Yeah, I feel like, though, like, if Size plays the Shredder, right, and the, uh, the you know Nova will finish off the Drew the Claw, I mean, the Drake will die. If... if if Kalento can't heal for more than two, he has lethal next turn. Right, but he does have he does the have uh, Nova. Holy Nova yeah. next turn. That's what I'm looking at. Like, if this Shredder actually doesn't, like, isn't enough to threaten Kalento, and he picks up another taunt, even a small one, warmer stage would be sufficient. Um, then there's a chance Thais just never is able to, to swing back on the board. Yeah, but the Holy Nova is a pretty big deal. Like, yeah, it really the fact is. That, um, the only thing is that it's a little unfortunate Kalento can't attack first and then Holy Nova mm -hmm. to regain some board presence. Um, by like making sure the Blackwing Corruptor is at full health, and he's gonna want to prioritize healing the Blackwing Corruptor, but he does give it put himself within like a weird critical health stage. <clears throat> stage. Also, he's dead if it spawns something with three, three attack. attack, or is it two attack? Well, actually, with the Wait, heals, I'm, I think... I'm imagining he's gonna kill the yeah, Drake, the Drake yeah. because there's just too much power on the board. Mm -hmm. And then the Shredder. I mean, if you pick up on the Blackwing Corruptor, it's a different story. Like, yeah. you can win. So. One That's, more turn would have been so much better though, because he could actually balance chosen and ball the shredder right away. But well, he's he's gonna leave the uh, the black Corruptor at two health anyway, so Thais is gonna savage roar anyway. He thinks I, I think there's oh, a, that's oh. a that's a good point. Okay, he's not healing. 
So we're looking at a total of eight damage right now for Thais. At least nine. Five, nine? Oh, we have the hero power. Oh. oh, that's a wild growth then, right? Into the I'd imagine. Combo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if War Mustangian falls down, unless it gets buffed with health, you can usually guarantee a kill on it. Yeah. Uh, so. Tice is Druid. Done <laughs> really well. So, I just really want to mess, good. I just mess with it ever. Yeah. I think that's why he says he's a good class. Master yeah. Druid. Yeah. He's also, like, somehow getting these double Innervate plays early on. I, I don't get it. <laughs> double double Innervate, Darnassus, Wild Growth, Emperor. Yeah, and then double <laughs> Innervate, Boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On turn three against Kibler. Um, you, you can't even be mad, but at some point, Dice is gonna have to pay. I don't know when. Maybe just like the grueling series is compensation. I mean, it's, for the it's also uh, we can always like oversimplify it, but right, I think right. it's also his deck that he's built that seems to be really refined with how like it wants to go as well. So it's it's a very standard list, but it, it's, it's not going why crazy. It's good. Yeah, Actually, I think the way Kalento wins this game is if a taunt spawns from the Shredder and then he cabals it. Like if he gets an Anoyatron. Yeah, oh, actually man. prevents yeah. lethal. Or um, that's a great or like point. a Twilight Guardian, I think. That's, Twilight Guardian, Worm of Stages. It's almost like the same thing. It, yeah. mm -hmm. But then again, it would actually be possibly better. There's only one Twilight Guardian there. Yeah. But he only needs two um, two trees tree to go, through, to go yeah. through. It needs to be Worm of Stages into Valence Chosen. It's not looking like it so far. Well, the Power Shield makes Anoyatron actually stop lethal. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, right. it does. Oh, are you sure? Okay. <laughs> That's underwhelming. Yeah, that actually helps. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. If he steals that? No, it's, no, it's, 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 it's not a vitality oh. totem, Proton. Dang. The dream is dead. Because yeah. if it did heal at the it end, it still wouldn't of the be enough. It'd still be 14 if it was a vitality. So you have to top deck Wormrest agent four, here. 4 HP? Right. Yep. You're stored? Yeah. You can actually win Wormrest. Like, you power chill your guy, you Wormrest agent into Valence Chosen, you have 8 health on it, and you're still safe. Clemso, not really happy with his options yeah, here. Yeah, he has, he has to get something here or it's over. Oh! Wormrest agent wow. is not enough. Though. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure. With the, oh, the, the Valence Chosen. Light well, though. No, the Valence Chosen. What? Okay, well, well good Clemso game. Died. Yeah. Rest I, I think it's like, well, yeah. your opponent has eight health. It would have been enough. Yeah, it would have been enough to survive if he yeah. used the, the Valence Chosen. But, okay, Tyus also draws a second Savage Roar here, but it's like, how do you peg your opponent to have exactly those cards? Yeah, he drew, like, he's left with one card in his hand that he didn't even need. So, I mean, we have to say this is a pretty good draw from Tyus. Mm. Well played. 3-0 for right. Nihilum. This is, uh, this is sizing up to be a, Six a bit of a one-sided match. Yeah. Now, again, the, the, the first few points are not nearly as relevant as the last few yeah. of course but but uh there's three it's of them really comfortable lead yeah three is a lot of points here mm -hmm. tice is done so he can just kind of sit back and wait for his teammates to see if they can follow through mm -hmm. and uh that's a really good start i think um it's kind of putting cloud nine a little bit in their place because i think they were feeling a little too confident. cocky of the, yeah, yeah they're like bit. well we can't be stopped we beat everybody i mean you saw the post game yeah. interviews where ecop was uh yeah, yeah. Facetiously saying, bask in my glory. <laughs> but there's this thing too about Cloud9 that going into Archon Team League before it all started, I was thinking to myself, oh, this team is probably going to take it, right? Like, they have Strike Pro, they've got Kalento, they're going to be in a good spot at the finals. Um, I was, you know, thinking the same thing of Nihilum, but uh, I don't think they're surprised, like, that Cloud9 is surprised to be in mm. the finals. Whereas Nihilum, after all they've gone through, maybe is yeah, the journey they has been feel long. a little more, uh, you know, blessed, I guess, put it that way. I, I mean, I think it's just more of like, the moment, momentum is like yeah, a real thing. on their side. It, it feels not like an actual substantial thing. The, the stakes aren't very high in terms of the atmosphere. It's not like there's ten thousand people watching them and they're on the stage, um, and they're, they're like all rooting for them. But there's just like this crazy like emotional high that they're on, where they feel like they've been winning and overcoming a lot of obstacles, and this is like the last chance for them. Um, so that mentality, you know, you never know. Like it, it, one of those things where. It doesn't necessarily affect the outcomes of the games right. themselves, but it definitely mm -hmm. uplifts the spirits and make them play at their best. Yeah. So I think uh, you know it's a very good feeling right now. Up three zero. No matter what happens, it's like you know a reasonable fight that they put up. And now it's like Cloud Nine has to start getting on the board because if they start trading one game, one game, then yeah, it's gonna be it's uh, like a, a victory for now. Yeah. Oh, do you do you need to say something again? All right, Amaz is here as well. Yeah. Uh, Welcome back. We actually have to do another ten minutes. Okay. Oh. The last 10 minutes was zero minutes, so we had to actually do a real 10-minute um, 
you know, tech issue fix. All right, so we're gonna okay. do a um, three seconds good. And then, uh, oh yeah, I, I, oh. Frodan's playing yeah, video game. I, I guess I'm not. No, I was checking the Reddit. Uh, okay, the Reddit. I was are... deep in my chair. Yeah, <laughs> I was kind of standing just uh, watching over you guys, but I'm just gonna stand for a little. Yeah, bit. hope you don't mind. So, all right, so uh, welcome back everyone to the ATLC. Um, we had some uh, problems, but I think I think the delay is fixed now. Yeah, fixed ish. Yeah, fixed -ish. They, they fixed the technical issues. So uh, we're gonna have. Cloud9 continue the, the comeback against Nylum if they can do it. Do it, it yeah. Uh, down 0 3. We've seen something yeah. like that happen before. It's not impossible. And Cloud9 oh, we've, we've, long, we've but... seen the up two games and get triple benched 6 yeah, to 2. 6 to 2. We've, oh, we've yeah. seen some mean things in this tournament, so don't you don't count anyone out. It could be 5-0. Yeah, it could be 5-0, and then we see uh, one guy just lose six games. How's that the close? Yeah. Actually, even ATLC. almost that's even happened. I think it was 5-1. and one RDU in, was pretty close, I think, at in, some in point. In one of them. I think someone lost like four or five times. So in the I think the first skill. week, uh, Oskaka and Forsen boys were up 5-0 over Tempo Storm, okay. and then he lost four times with Druid, Whoa. and then went and then won 6-4. Like, it was pretty scary. All right. Because that, even in the last game, it was very close. Yeah. So it can get pretty wild. So... Uh, in terms of the decks left on Nylum's side, I mean, you have solid Grim Patron, you have solid Hunter, and you have solid Secret Palace. These, these are actually rough. the top three decks. In their lineup, definitely. Like, yeah, Zelly asked me, like, what are the, the top three game? decks, yeah. I think? <laughs> Those ones. <laughs> Those classes, at least. I mean, yeah, I thought I thought mid-range Pally might actually be a little bit cooler because uh, it seems to not have too bad of a matchup yeah. besides Patron. Well, Secret Pally gets countered by a few more, but basically that. I mean, RD is playing a slower-ish Secret Pally. Uh, Plus is he? Oh, he's I playing think, a faster. He's I think playing, he's actually accelerated the, yeah, he's the playing last the, version that he was running. Yeah, he's playing the faster one. Never mind. Yeah. He's playing the yeah. uh, Blessing of Might version. Strife Crow is playing the mid-range Paladin. Probably. At, Probably. As far as I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, but he changed his deck. So he, he could he deck. could hypothetically change to, to secret, or... secret or something else. Yeah. Does Strifecrest seem like a person who changes to you? No, actually, um, <laughs> yeah. he's just kind of like a, a rock. He's yeah. a constant. I think the reason he's playing that deck to begin with is because he refuses to yeah, change. Yeah, he's, <laughs> like, he's had so many opportunities to change. Yeah. yeah. I, will, I will quote him. Um, I like Conquest format because I don't have to prepare new decks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so he doesn't have Easy. to, like, spend so much time preparing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to, like, play Nintendo yeah. and uh, read yeah, books. Smash. Yeah, yeah. Read, read, read some uh, Read a book. Read some Pretty books good book. Yeah. I, when I look at it, uh, Cloud9 didn't change a single class. Yeah. So the only and Acop was still yeah, playing that right. uh, aggressive hunter deck. hunter deck. So my guess mm -hmm. is that uh, they might be playing the same decks. Mm -hmm. There's a really good chance maybe Tech well, to one. Or two. Yeah, exactly. It it worked out for them so far. Well, on the other hand, even though it has been working out for them, and even though um, Nylon is up three points, they have three really strong decks. Some of these decks actually match up pretty well. Like. I think Face Hunter is slightly worse than Mid Range Hunter, but Face Hunter beats Mid Range Hunter. Right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's got some of these like quirky kind of matchups that, uh, if they match up properly, um, the score difference isn't as significant. Yeah. But if RDU is playing hybrid, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think hybrid has the edge over pure face, but I'm not entirely sure. I think they can get the bulkier minions and swing in for. Uh... Uh, a little bit more damage in the mid game. So I mean, it, it was it does have freezing traps, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I think based off of the class that's best uh, over all of these, I think you just go with Clento's patron. I think risking getting benched is not that big of a deal if you lose the next one because you most likely you're going to be able to attack on. All right, Strive Crow is going to try the Druid. Uh, okay. You know the aggro ish Druid that we saw earlier with Ida's Dark Bane and Mark of the Wild against RDU playing Paladin. That's All a right. pretty powerful opening hand potentially, especially right against now. an aggressive deck. Yeah, yeah. I would probably it's toss merciless back. against an aggressive. Maybe the deck. savage combat. I might toss like... back a savage combat. I wouldn't toss back anything. All right. The thing is, like, you're probably going to use flame juggler and keeper for board control, and you're going to probably use that innervate. So I think I, I'd rather get like living roots and other cards like that, so that way I can get early game board. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. he. Oh, it's okay. I kept the savage. Wait, you just okay. innervate coin, savage combat, and you're good to go. But with I this know. on, maybe you're worried about blessing a might suddenly. Oh yeah, that's true. Blessing a might is a card yeah. you know is in the deck. That makes things really complicated. Yeah, this makes. Uh... So just flame juggler instead, coin flame juggler, and then yeah. innervate. Innervate out something next like time. a keeper. Well, then again, savage combat has the potential to snowball. But if there's only one ones that you're trying to remove, you it's, it's not that though. great. Well, what what do you think about just coining? A flame juggler and the, the, the power of the wild. Oh. That's, that's, that's a good play too. I think that what it doesn't, 
I think uh, you really want to make sure that you have something to do on the following turn. You can hero power, but you want to be hero power twice. Hmm. Yeah, you're and if right. your opponent plays like muster, you're you're gonna be in big trouble, which she does have. Yeah, the two four is also a lot more, uh, a lot less all in. Yeah. Uh, against something like a muster for battle, I think I like, savage combatant. I think I really like flame juggler. Yeah. Actually, it is, it, is it good to like hero power that down? I don't, I don't think so. Instead. Like, using the Intervate to Hero Power down. I don't think yeah. there's actually any... It's not that threatening. No. Like, if he wants the Blessing Light and trait, you just yeah. let him. Yeah, and if he plays Argent Protector, what do you care, really? Like, it, it's only gonna give... Oh, there's no shield, way. You lose a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, exactly. There's like, no it way makes he's no playing sense. Protector Yeah, there. plus I think the Intervate is just so much more valuable if you put a 4-drop here. Like, the Keeper of the Grove is such a, a big deal. Like, you can silence the 1-2 the and then trade and just leave a 1-1 one -one on the board. Yeah, this is actually going to put uh, RDU on the back foot for probably the rest of the game, just based on that Intervate. Mm. I just feel that the uh, the keeper is better used on other cards. Whoa, that's gonna be weird. Yeah, I guess you're right for the blessing of kings, but if he has no minions ever, blessing of kings can't land. <laughs> so that, it's like, really hard philosophy. to set up the situation. Yeah. It's true, especially if he plays muster for battle. Yeah. Right, but I, that is one way to look at it. Hmm. Yeah, the savage combatant just like gets this. really punished by uh, muster. That's it. Yeah, I think Keeper of the Grove is just overall uh, stronger. I mean, with with Mark of the Wild as well, it's giving you a pretty big body that you don't care about losing. It's already done kind of what it needed to. This is, but the, the Druid deck's like really good at being able to board control despite wanting to be aggressive, though. That's why it's more of like a hybridish deck, even though it's very fast. Yeah. Because you want to be able to assess if you want if you can be aggressive or defensive, and like that's why you have these cards which can be used defensively like mark of the wild even though you have like two savage wars and you don't have anything more but look how aggressive rdu can play this like he can muster for battle followed by muster again and competitive spirit yeah but i, I don't know with the amount of minions <laughs> that's on the board, disgusting that's, 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 yeah but i mean he can clean up well they're gonna get promoted though, right? yeah. uh, i don't know the mark of the wild can stop oh he's gonna go for the savage combatant instead yeah that's, that's the best tempo play it's fine okay it's like the keep of the grove is very weak to um just like inter it's just gonna always be playing cleanup duty mm -hmm. and the savage combatant gives you this conditions like well if this doesn't get killed i can always use my hero power and it's not that bad it's to like win the game, hero yeah. power. in fact um i always love it when i get savage combatant off web spinner because yeah. that makes my oh, hero power so that much yeah yeah it's, it's enough to you can guarantee that if they're playing on mobile there's there's no more phone and you have the piloted <laughs> shredder savage combatant that's a good one Piloted. Sky Golem. Pilot Sky Golem. Oh, 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 no, I have. I don't, I don't play much with Pilot Sky Golem. Is it pretty good? In arena, yeah. Sorry, it's already in it's, arena. It's, yeah. it's better than pretty good. <laughs> it's excellent. What is he thinking about here? I don't get it. Competitive spirit hero power. Oh come uh, on. I think. I think. Um, There's no way. No. Well, maybe he's thinking about what he should attack with it. If he should be cleaning the flame juggler, yeah. or if he should be. Because um, there's no swipe this. next turn, right? Like that's kind of the question. Do I even kill that two two, or do I not? Either way, you get. In trouble through swipe in the next couple turns, yeah. but there's no real. Oh, there it is. I think if that card wasn't drawn, it would actually oh. be the game, but that is the card to get for Strife. Oh man, I think Strife just wet his pants a little bit. That was such an important draw. He didn't even smile, actually. Yeah, I don't think he went. Yeah, unless he's, like, he's very uncomfortable. It's the poker so. face. Oh, okay. it's the poker oh, face. oh my god, that was oh. a smile. I think I saw a smirk. He's like, there's at no way. It was at least half a smirk. Okay. He doesn't yeah. want to give it away to RDU from like... <laughs> it was that big. Yeah, it was continent. pretty big. Yeah. I think um, there's a case for like being aggressive on the other end, like power of the wild, but I guess he's afraid of truce over champion, of like it controlling state of the board. Is that enough damage to justify it? Like you can... I think Mark of the Wild might be sufficient. I don't know, because like a 4-4, four, four, yeah. you're running to True Silver, however, so maybe there's no reason to do that. Like Mark, the weapon yeah. would Mark is the same thing as Power of the Wild, but make right. it less all-in on exactly. like, the minions, like True Silver can't kill everything. So I think Power of the Wild is like decent here. But if you don't trade, you're kind of giving away the swipe info? Or do you? I mean, it depends what you do with the 2-2, right. I guess. So you'd at least follow the spider. Yeah, this is kind of to play around kings. Yeah. Usually oh, when you yeah, see yeah. the board filled up a lot, you just want to play around kings because you think it's going to land. Oh! Something yeah. close is going to land, though. So, 2, 4, 6, and then muster again. Consecration cleared mm -hmm. the entire board? I, is that ever a thing? I think it's too risky to muster again right now. Yeah. Sure, on turn 4. Just because you have no follow-up right now. Yeah. Like, the thing is, if you consecrate and you clear... You clear the board. You keep this. You keep two spiders and a one-one. Assuming you use your face, which you won't. Never mind. No. You'll keep like two spiders. There you go. Yeah. 
You have to play Blessing of Might right now. Yeah. Blessing of Might does as much damage as Consecrate. So, so you the one -ones and you it, it basically means I think it's a higher tempo play and you have to play tempo. Well, he doesn't like it. Okay. Uh, instead, going for the 1-1 one -one token. So then, uh, Strike Crow will control the, the board rest of the keeper, game. right? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, if he goes... Oh, no. yeah. I was, I was going to say, I don't know if you keep her, but you have two now. So, yes, you keep her. We think, but the alternative was to swipe or to play Power of the Wild. Power of the Wild attack is I think swipe not that bad. Too weak. It slows down the yeah. game even more. If you're slowing down the game and not too ahead, too ahead on cards, you really don't develop any win condition for your opponent. So, Blessing of Might trade. That, I seems, mean, this that is... seems wonky, but at the same time, like, I mean, the oh, it's pretty good. That could mm. that could do a lot. Well, it could look like it does a lot for RDU. It could do a lot, a lot. But yeah. again, you have this weird issue where you go all in, and if you have swipe, you lose the game. So, do you really want to do that? Like, if you want to do that, you want to hold back something. If you play juggler and muster, you don't hold back anything. You, you, know, play... you know what the RDU needs? Mr. Challenger top deck. I think you just play... Um, I think you just don't muster, actually. I think you you blessing a might the 1-1, one, one, you attack that in, and then you juggler dude. Yeah, and you just try to play it slowly before going all in. Yeah. Um, and the crazy thing is Trackro has exactly what he needs to deal with this, right? Uh, he's gonna try it out. I guess this is fine too. Yeah. Ultimately, like, I think he's accepting if he's playing too slow that he also gets in trouble. Yeah, so I actually like this because the swipe force from our, from Stripe Crow basically means that he has to spend his entire turn doing nothing but clearing, which means the juggler yeah. might actually get and out. He might not. I mean, I mean, swiping the face is probably the best way to do with it because you play around revenge and competitive mm -hmm. spirit. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do it. I can't imagine you wouldn't because once they they become two twos, they're a bit tougher. You have to use force or the keeper to deal with them. Oh, oh the top wow. deck! Oh, look at his face. Are you this <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah. he brought back the. Five That's the first secrets. time it's happened. Five what? secrets. It's RDU. actually landed on five secrets. He's, RDU, he's never, yeah. he's never had that before. Oh right, because he's always had in, so many one halves. Right? Yeah, in the first iteration, he yeah, just like, didn't yeah. have five secrets, and in the iteration he brought today, he's always drawn at least one of the five secrets before the challenger. Yeah, that is crazy. That's, a, for that, RDU. that's game changing, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. That's exactly what he needed uh, to get in. Crow, you're in trouble, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he just got to go for like the silence play, I think, and maybe clean up with a force afterwards. Who do you think had the best hand starting in the game? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, both, say, when right? you have two musters, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Strife Grow having an innervate play with stuff to do was really interesting, too. So you could go for an attack into Keeper to silence off the buffs from the Mr. Challenger, but it's going to become a 7-7 seven, seven right afterwards with the second competitive spirit. Well, it's, it's going to get, it's going to be yeah. Pretty, yeah. It's going to be a pretty mediocre turn if you do that. So. Right, Repentance, uh, summon that. Put Maze on the board. Uh, is he going to attack with the hero power and trigger the... Avenge? Avenge? I don't know. Does he have the, the choice? I mean, at he some does. point, you have, the Force of Nature actually helps you deal with that a bit better later. Um... He did not trigger. Yeah, that Light's Justice is going to take care of the 2-1, which again is a bit of an issue. No, that works out all right. It doesn't allow him to, uh, to hero power with the Force of Nature next turn, though. Is he thinking of trading into the 3-2? Because he wants to play his juggler on hero power? Yeah. That's reasonable. I guess. I mean, Wrath, hero power can't happen. Really sucks against second swipe, but that's... Extremely unfair. But it's actually okay against second swipe. Yeah, you have to Juggling consider the Avengers, you have to consider the get downs, you have yeah. to consider the redemptions. Everything kind of works. Dr. Boom is probably one of the biggest swim cards in Strike Rose deck potential. Okay. That's okay. not it. So, his. I, I think he's just cornered because if he takes out the knife juggler, that just buffs another minion. That's fine. That's probably the best not, way not to. Not really, though. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think what you have to do is. Win with combo. That's the only way you do it. So you you keep her the face. No, no. I think you keep her the uh, juggler yeah. and trigger yeah. the get down, and you have to top deck Drew the claw swipe her wrath. In order to deal damage. Um, I mean, he's at fifteen right now. You could heal. So you just trigger. Down. You just trigger the noble sacrifice. Yeah. Keep and her the three two. No, you you keep her three two first, keep... so you don't get juggled. 
Oh, you're right. Well, it would go. There's a redemption. You get, you get juggled you, twice. You can play into Innervate as well. Just like keep it the face. Oh, you do get redemption. That's right. Yeah. Oh, so you do have to do it first. Yeah, you're right. No, no, Noxious is right. You have to play around redemption as well. So you do have to just take two juggles here. Yep. That sucks. Hurts a bit, but. And it really sucks if it buffs the, the juggler, by the way. Sucks. Oh my god, what if it uh, does? What if it does? Alright, no. but he's still, I mean, this this, uh, this minion there is He's just gonna crazy. silence it there, it seems. Yeah, and from then on, I think it's just a cruise control to just victory for RDU. Now. Look at that damage. It stops up. 4 damage, but I think you're just better off just killing the... Oh, wow! The I think that is actually the seal. Like, yeah, looks like it. There's no combo That just, that just wow. stops combo from happening. <laughs> that stops Stripe Chris win condition. Yeah. And RDU's got to feel pretty happy about that Mr. Challenger that he picked up earlier because that, oh, that not just playing it? Game. I guess he can't no. get combo next turn. I don't know. I, I would uh, probably play super safe, right? Like the there's no reason way. not to play it. That's the thing. Nice. Nice oh. on a reasonable target. Yeah, pretty yeah. sweet. Hold the face. I fight with I like I like the lot. all face here. You like it? You yeah. can just kill this and you're probably going to yeah. get in the, the, the Challenger next turn anyway. And if something dies... Then the event triggers again. Yeah, Ooh, that does very little. Dark that Bane not, not really doing anything. That's game number four in the books. Followed by a 10 minute break. We'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well played, yeah. throw an ass on coming. Uh, yeah, Stref Strefko is 100% is chance to die next turn. Yep. So if he Force of Nature's here. Well, he, he's doing this in hopes that it's like a get down, I think. No, but he already triggered it. And yeah. Was... Oh, and New Secret was played, though. You're right. But oh, there, no, there was it, already it can't, one in the game, game, exactly. His hopes or what? Uh, I don't know. I that just it's don't a repentance know. number two, I guess. He's just dead to the mysterious challenger plus, plus the, the weapon. The weapon. Yeah. yeah. So there's just no chance for him. There's no chance of anything. Yeah. He, there's zero Check for eye for an eye. Is it in the deck? Did it come out this one time? No. Oof. A rough loss again here. Yeah, but he was playing Mario Kart earlier. Yeah, and he won at that, so... Yeah. I mean, that, that's always God. good. Nylon is up 4-0. Four four that is a crazy lead, and it was really quick. Yeah. It was a really quick lead. Yeah. Wow. Those four games zero. Was... That is the most you dominant... very close. That is the most dominant lead we've seen uh, at finals. the start of a match yeah. in, in the live final so far. Yeah. I'm really uh, excited for Nihilum well, right now. Kimmy Barry, I got some bad news for you. I'm sorry. Cloud9 is down 0-4, so he's going to need all your energy. It's The, the, good, the good players just like to put on a show. They let the, yeah. they let the scrubs like you it's know true. take a few ahead. games, yeah. and then you get them. It's like the Navi approach. Send out Kalento. <laughs> Again. Release, yeah, release the Ukrainian, I guess. Right. Well, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to put it, but... Release the Ukrainian. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I think no one gets benched because they play oh, out of order. Sadness. They they try. Trifco tried. Ecop tried. Clunto tried. Now Strifco's tried. Yeah. Ecop's eyes represent those wow. of a dead man. Inside right now, he he's looking yeah. at all that money burning away. Ecop is an extremely emotional player. Yeah, he uh, is. one of the most, I think, actually. So he. Yeah. I think even though he's he's one of the best players in the game, he is likely to play below that level uh, yeah. after several losses. But all it takes is just a couple of wins and you're back in. Yeah, game. three wins would actually really make it uh, so they feel yeah. like they've got a chance to swing back in. Mm -hmm. But they've got to go up against Patron and uh, Hunter. So again, yeah. two decks that are known for their consistency. I mean, if there's anything that you really truly learn about Hearthstone, it's never over till it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it just feels everything... All right. Sometimes you just feel like everything is going well, oh, uh, is what okay. RDU... Uh, no, I was, I, was, I was reading the tweet. Yeah, yeah, that's, mm. that's what it said. Uh, it's, oh. going, it's going like perfectly or something along those lines. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. All right, all right. So that's 4-0. Life Coach and RDU have one deck left. It's the Patron Warrior and the Hunter. Midrange. Literally the two best decks in Hearthstone right now, I think. <laughs> Dragon close Priest comes close, it. but... Yeah. Dragon Priest I don't, definitely I don't think so. so. Dragon Priest could win what? against Patron, Dragon I think. Dragon Priest is sick. Yeah, it's disgustingly good. Dragon Priest. Just ask it Gilbert. hasn't been disgustingly good in this tournament. Yeah, it has. It's like all right in ladder. Oh, okay, maybe not. Ladder is filled with hunters and stuff. I don't know. I, I feel like against patron it's doing pretty well. Not mm. a single patron has won against uh, Priest so far. That's true. In the event, they have been marginal, and that honestly, that has been yeah. due to crappy it, draws. It also has beaten Nexham almost every time. Oh my God! What a feat! 
<laughs> so, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the best deck. Mm. Oh man, where do you even start if you're on Cloud Nine? I think maybe just roll like, that dice again. You just, I, a priest looks good to me. You I can't mean, even send like Handlock or anything. Yeah. Don't have it, most likely. I like priest a lot. Uh, yeah, you can't priest lose with okay. it. Priest it's like is... a good momentum comeback, uh, I guess. Yeah, priest is reasonable. Um, mm -hmm. Warrior is also reasonable as well. Patron, like, I wish yeah. you get the mirror. And Kalento is good enough. I don't know, like, the... I'm actually fe feeling the defeatist mentality as a yeah? caster right now. You feel now. like it's over already? Yeah, like, it's not that it's two classes left. Often in this case, it's like those two classes, two classes is like, yeah. you know, the shaman that you didn't want to play. And the right. druid. And like the like druid that you yeah. forgot to put Darnassus as pirate in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Sure. Like that happens. Yeah. Sure. But, but it literally is the two most dominant decks in the tournament right uh -huh. now. Oh, wait. Kalento is not there, or Kalento is there, which means... He's not up there. He's not up there. So it's Ecop with a face hunter going to sneak in the damage. It's yeah. either Ecop or Strife Crow. Yeah, I don't think it's Strife Crow. He, he's going to yeah. get bent. Or maybe Kalento's trying to recruit Force in to go play. Yeah, Force is like, I can't be bothered, he's, he's man. Like, look at him. this. Convincing him. He's no, like, actually... I'll split the 50k with you if you just go play for me. No, he's like... He's and Force no says... Way, uh, uh, no way, No uh, way. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I might. What? Uh, Forsen's replied. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. No, but you forgot to say bro like 500 times. Uh, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That sentence. All right. Well, it is going to be Strife Crown Paladin versus RDU on Hunter. RDU, I think, is playing mid range with double unleash, double juggler. And possibly so, a flare. Uh, we saw a flare in whose deck earlier? Oh, I don't think the flare Kibler. is relevant at all. It was in Brian Kibler's deck. Yeah. If you expect mages and paladins, you might want it, but then again. We, we've seen RDU's Hunter play out a few games. We have not seen the flare. Um, it's just that uh, I think it's favorable for Strife Crow because the, the mid-range Hunter, again, doesn't have that burst without the board development. And the mid-range Paladin actually has those answers to the board development. Like, you know, you go all in on high main and then, well, Peacekeeper decides the high main is irrelevant that turn. So it, it has all these counterplays. And if Strife Crow just draws, like, if, if Strife Crow draws as well as RDU, he'll win this game. But if he doesn't, I mean, obviously that the the draws can dictate any one, any one match. Well, if, if both draw very real. awkwardly in the beginning of the game, is Paladin heavily favored? I'd say so, probably, just mm -hmm. because they get to those belchers and they get to those. Uh, well, then again, it depends how. Because if the early uh, draws are awful, it means the Paladin's later game is already there, <laughs> which means it's ready to tackle the mid game. It probably. depends so much because um, you have to you have to keep in mind Strip is actually running that Murloc. Knight, nice. he's running oh, monsters, so he's running a, a high creature quantity, and one of the weird things in this matchup is the ability to do that juggler unleash, where suddenly you think you're winning, but in in two cards you're losing by a lot, Yeah. and uh, that swing is probably what's going to be required from uh, RDU. If they both draw the nuts, like the best hands possible. Mm -hmm. who's, who's in I give it to the hunter team. then. I think. No, I give it to the paladin. Really? The paladin has a counter for. Oh, I mean zombie. Ch he plays zombie char. Yeah, the, the okay, paladin never mind has that. a counter never mind, for never everything mind, in the mind. hunter deck. Never mind that. So I think if they draw the same, the paladin just. Wins. Yeah. Um, now that you mention it, it's. All right. Well, uh, looking at the opening hands here, Strefko has cog camera, which is which can be pretty useful. Yeah. Uh, as well as consecration. Are you? He's going to be looking for the mad scientists. Um, I think. Animal Companion, you can debate keeping, but I think it's generally speaking, rough. you want to have an early game curve. Because yeah. if you're stuck here, powering on turn two, and Paladin can seize the board through Muster, you're in a really bad spot. They don't even need Muster. Like, if they play Zombie Child, Shield, and Minibot, and you haven't played a single thing on that turn, yeah, you know, you're probably out of it. Muster like, really ensures that they control the state of the board yeah. for the rest of the game, because every trade that they can pick with Muster is really effective. Like, you get Muster, and then you follow up, even with Cog Camera, like, right immediately, and it's like, just everything you play dies. Did RDU keep all this? Or no, you... I would I think he threw away everything. Both players threw away everything. Oh, RDU wow. with the uh, aggressive... Okay. Oh, He's wow. the And I, actually, I... Strife Crow's hand is terrible. Terrible against this, yeah. There is... uh, it can change with one draw. Yeah, let's see if it does. It all does. right, it improved, it improved. But yeah. still, look at the damage output. Uh, of RDU's hand. There's no taunts on Strikro's yeah. side. So, 
it's very clear that RDU will never try to fight for the board. Yeah. As soon as uh, Shifeco drops the muster, and it'll be all about can Shifeco survive the damage. Mm -hmm. I heard mid range hunter before we started. I thought it was. It was I, I believe. I, I think you're right. I the, think the it, weird thing is that he has high mains and hybrid. he has got like, the explosive traps and stuff. Well, it is the hybrid deck from RDU, and he's gonna be able to actually contest the later game with that uh, Savannah high main. That's really scary. So he's immediately evaluating if he wants to hit with this weapon, maybe he's going to need it. Yeah. And he choose to hold. Because mm -hmm. he, he might be able to holding, empty it. I think holding indicates that you don't have another Glee Zuka. I think most hybrid lists run one Glee Zuka, two bows, but some run two and two. Yeah, so I think some, holding some indicates that there's only two. Or bow, because it's like, they okay. play like two traps, yeah. and they don't really necessarily get a lot of value for it. And they want to just play like Wolf, wolf Riders and Arc And you, you get weapon clogged a lot when you, you like double up on every weapon you've got. Yeah. Ah, that's so. Uh, it's Leopard Gnome Hero Power. You're 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 basically on Hero Power duty. You're, but the problem is that you have High Main and you have no board control in anticipation for High Main. So you can't really. Uh, high Main is probably it. getting Peacekeeper though. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So, something bad is happening to that card. That, that's why the mid range Paladin is so good against it. Yeah. Now, it's, are it's you? Got great sequel target yeah. Removal. yeah. I guess on its own, it's enough of a threat that you have to like throw everything into it. Like kind of. I mean, the the thing about the High Main is that it's supposed to give you like options to push as the game develops because what one thing that face hunter always has trouble doing as it develops the, the board and the game goes on is it has trouble filling out the mana curve um, and so the high main does give it still some firing power and if you can hit the face it's mm. a lot of damage yeah. that looks like an owl I, turn but i'm not sure i kind of like the owl because i i think after you saw rdu hit off one of your dudes you know whatever you play here gets killed by the glade zuka so if you play the knife juggler, that's just gonna die. You might as well play the owl because that's gonna die instead, and you save yourself two health. Yeah. Why not hero power then? Because uh, you take the two from the leopard. Yeah. I mean, you did dodge the two from the glaive yes, zuka. Yeah. So. And I think you'd be less willing to attack another dude. You kind, you're kind of more greedy with your second weapon hit than your first. Yeah. I do like that it puts more power onto the board, but. I mean, it doesn't because it, 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 it just gets removed immediately. Yeah, but I don't think it functionally does much better than just the hero power. So mm -hmm. when do you use the owl in this case? All right, never mind. He's going to go for the juggler and force RDU to use the weapon on it. Yeah, it's fine because if you're in a hero power, you're going to be behind the tempo. Yeah. So And like, realistically, it's like... Whoa! Oh, I was not anticipating that move. Not at all. Oh, Neither was I. Are big. This is intense. He's banking on his opponent having no burst, but that's not at all the case. Whew! So yeah. if RD goes for yeah. Arcane Golem Abusive, he's yeah. putting his opponent on the ability to play Belcher, whereas if he goes for the Scientist Hero Power, he gets the free ticket to turn 5 into high main 6. Yeah, I like the Scientist Hero Power and kill the Juggler. Yeah. Uh, well, he's got Explosive Trap behind this too, so maybe he doesn't need to. He can yeah. get the 2 damage to the face and then put his opponent at 10. And Trefko is going to need to start healing with the true server champions. Yeah, the, the, the Iron Beacal has to be falling after this, right? I don't know, it's just... Yeah. You can't let but that then. But then we get to that stage where there's just too many little things on the board, and unleash just this way, way too, too much, much damage. damage. Yeah. yeah, it's back to square one basically. Oh man, if they if they actually end up winning this, that's going to be probably the sickest start we've had in ATLC. If they go, uh, I mean, not not. We've there's had five been, zero starts. There's right? been five zero. Really? Starts. Okay. Yeah, yeah the one that ended in six four. The first match. First match. Actually. Yeah, with. Uh... Wow, already you links twice. Uh, really afraid of that knife juggler. I guess he doesn't want it to be like defender of Argus, and then. I mean, it's it really is the correct play, uh, especially because he does have the answer. He does have the silence. Mm -hmm. Well, so if he goes for you know playing the shredder here is appealing because it's a big minion on the board, but you could also just go for Iron Beak Dude. The problem is again, you mentioned the unleash. Uh, the mm -hmm. thing is, just if... like blessing of kings. Just, like, wow. Oh. So he's it's giving the hunter shredder. the trap. What is that trap? It's an explosive trap. Two damage guaranteed. Are you probably okay with that? More damage, more uh, more uh, win. It's closing in right now. Yeah, let's see what he gets though. It's it's far from over. Ah. Uh, but it's a card that makes um abusive sergeant live. Yeah. So so he can just hear he power here power with here. the arcane golem. Yeah. And I, I don't I don't he won't. Yeah. There's really no reason not to. Um, oh man, Shrafko's in a really tight spot. Yeah, he actually tight. uses Lights Justice repeatedly really as removal. I think he take like he took a lot more if damage. If he plays two creatures, he's dead. Yeah. He's dead uh, the moment he goes for uh, Yeah, he's he can choose silver. He's gonna trade and choose silver, I think. For the phase. 
Vitality totem? No, not quite. Okay. It's not bad. I mean, if he draws Leon Hands, he can play it next turn. Whoa. Actually, that's a great point. <laughs> that would be such a stupid way to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Being able to get reduced cost on yeah. Leon Hands. That would be hilarious. But now he's considering do I even the hero power here? Because uh, Unleash Kill Command would uh, bring down to one. Yeah, so he's technically safe to do so. What do you gain by doing it? I guess you get another target for Blessing of Kings. Yeah, I don't know if you gain much, but... Second high uh, Might right. as well. Yeah, drop yeah. them. Drop them and force him to deal with it. No yeah. other Peacekeeper for Strike Roll. Lay on hands top deck would be amazing. Uh, yes and no. It's like, the problem is that he's the high main still high main. there, yeah. Well, you have to Kings then. You have to Silence kings and, and Kings. Yeah. So if you silence kings, you can actually play the muster again, and it seems tempting, so you'd probably do that and then die. Oh, yeah, you're right, the muster <laughs> for the board. But there's too, there's too many minions, like, you wouldn't even die to just, uh, like, the unleash kill command. It's just like, unleash, unleash kill, just kill power, you. you die. Yeah, but it's actually good for RDU if, if muster's played. Then Strike yeah. has got to be assuming that RDU's holding one, because he hasn't had an opportunity yeah. ever to actually play one uh, for good, uh, good value. I think... You just I'll... stall until Tyrion falls. Yeah, but it's like more so than just. Oh, like then, well, then, if you don't want to play a creature, why not just not silence it then? What if you kings and then consecrate? Yeah, that's probably the the alternative. That's which... fine, but you, only, you still only have two minions by doing this. Okay. You trade, and then you you attack phase, and then you just don't hero power. The damage is piling up on RDU's phase, though. Yeah, like, look at this. And then he's gonna. He doesn't. He might not even necessarily need just Tyrion. He could just like. True silver face, right? And then that's he, he doesn't. He doesn't lethal. die. Oh, he's one off lethal by doing that. Yeah, he has so if he hero powers, if and he hero powers, he has true silver consecration lethal. And he turn. wins. Yeah, exactly. So this is lethal with... kill command. Oh, oh Leoc Huffer, Leoc Huffer. That's not enough. Are you sure? That's yeah. six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, it's eight. Four, yeah, seven, nine damage. You're right. So he has to trade then. At least one. But does he pin his opponent on having the exact? Second true silver plus consecration. I, I kind of like the play everything go face. Yeah. Because if you have a taunt, you might not be able to win this game. So you force your opponent to have another heal. And you know Strife Crow's not had a heal because he's true silvered your face so much. Yeah, and it looks like Strife Crow's just going to win the game if uh, RDU goes for the high main, yeah, which looks like higher pressure play. He has the true silver consecrate answer. Yeah. Which would it's actually very unlikely. Be, yeah. Well, what if, what if you just kill the owl? Yeah, you kill like the two one because it's the it's most. It's like a compromise play, right? Yep. I mean, you can still play out your hand yeah. uh, outside of the high main. Like, if you don't go now, then Leon. I mean, the thing is, if you're playing around Leon hands, you drop the high main. Yeah. If you're playing around Tyrion, you drop the unleash and everything else. He's also running out of time. Oh no! Rip. I think this is a play because you ran out of time. Yeah. It's like you didn't yeah. have enough time to do like some trades and. And the analysis. Summons. So Strife Crow's gonna take it. Oh yeah, the Aldor. Anyway. Just barely. Yeah, would have been a five zero potentially if he was to close it, but you know, for the drama of it. Thank goodness, Cloud Nine took a yeah. game. Yeah, just for the excitement of it. I mean, we need at least one game, right? For sure. Yeah. Well, there we yeah. go. There's a chance. To... Yeah, a much needed victory in Cloud 9's camp. Uh, yeah, literally every single health point mattered that game for uh, for the Paladin. Yeah. But this Paladin again has been killing it. I don't even think it's lost a game. Yeah, it's actually Strike right? Crow that has the finals. Yeah, I think it's 3 0. Yeah, I guess so. You could be on something, Crow. Well, it's won all of its games very marginally. Yeah. In some cases, really, like, really marginally. Like, yeah. Is it really like that good, or is it just like Strife Crow? A little on the fortunate side of a 50 The Strife Crow Spice? Yeah. Yeah. Like Spice the Tyson, like Tyson you play this on ladder, go O oh, ten. It's like, what did you tell me, Crip? Why did you do well, this? Well, you can't. Actually, the funny thing is, I you, crafted Tyrion for nothing. You lost. You like lost by like one HP every time. Yeah. So then it's like you actually just got the unfortunate <laughs> other side where, you know, Strife Crow managed to get that one extra damage. All you. right. Well, certainly a a big morale boost for uh, Cloud Nine puts oh, them yeah, on the board. They're, they're overjoyed. <laughs> they're, they're, not, they're not overjoyed, but if you were if you were five zero, they would there'd be like no words spoken in this meeting. Yeah, they'd be like, okay, who, like who wants to go in and lose? Paper, scissors. Yeah, and now Strike Pro is thinking for his teammates. Yeah, I have to imagine that uh, if you anticipate the Paladin, should, is it like best to just send Life Coach out here so you can avoid being? Benched? Yeah, I kind of feel like that because at this stage they could send everything yeah, that's good against the, the hybrid. I think so. You have two top tier decks. 
Getting benched makes it so your opponents can get a few very favorable matchups intentionally. So I think they'll just have Clint to play Priest, though. Yeah. But also, I I really think Priest really isn't that, like, favored against Patreon. I think it's, like, 50. If not, less than 50. It just okay. I think it's a good deck. Like, we've had people on the bench thinking both sides of this. Some people yeah. are like, oh, man, Priest has no chance. Like, yeah, Priest more, has a pretty good chance. Time. We need more time. But I, I really think it's it's very close to 50. It, in this in this tournament so far, the Dragon Priest has won every single game over Patron. But every single game is played against Patron. The, the Patron's just drawn nothing. Actually, I don't even know if the Patron has drawn a, a Warsong Commander in any of the games against Priest. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Yeah, yeah like to to declare the <laughs> yeah. That was horrible. He had a divorce on command. All right, except for that one time <laughs> where it did nothing, which is basically Trip's point. Uh, I yeah. think he might be right. Like again, we we haven't seen the deck enough. Um, maybe on in tournament play, um, but it looks really solid. It feels solid when you play it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's something there at least uh, to keep playing. I I would imagine Life Coach comes out. Uh, if only because RDU's bench would force him to come out, and then in that case, I guess it's easy for Cloud9 to queue up their their good their better yeah. matchups. I guess not that they have that many, but I really think that um, I really think that Life Coach is going to go out with Patreon, but I I'm not so sure they're going to send out Kalento's Priest. I think they might send out Ecop's Warlock because just Zoo is just pretty good against right. Patreon makes overall. Sense. Makes sense. Life Coach is bad at War Axes today. It's been bad at most draws with Patron today, but still, it's it's been just enough to get here to the grand final. Yeah, just it, it feels like the grind was real, right? We were talking the, about yeah, the earlier. Grind they is have real. ground their opponents like slowly yeah. but surely. They, they haven't here. they haven't destroyed any team. Yeah, yeah. they've just won like one over, two over. Yeah, yeah, and they get there. It's been close games too. Yeah, now. like just look at like. You know, Life Coach versus Eloise earlier today. And oh my like god. Fighters. Right. That was a yeah, really great wire. game. Yeah. That was the coolest. I had to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the coolest <laughs> one of the entire like, event. He needs this. Bam. There it is. She needs that. Wham. It's like, he needs this. Boom. And she's like, she needs these three cards are not exact lethal. Yeah. yeah. I was expecting a fourth. Oh, there it is. The yeah. fourth sound effect. Thank you. My OCD was satisfied. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Symmetry. We're taking a little bit of time. I guess uh, maybe Cloud9 doesn't know who to pick, but there's a timer, so uh, they better move is there a timer? on quickly. Yeah, there is a, a there, timer. There's a one-minute What's the timer? punish? Oh, there we you go. go like, under you the get bench? fired from our point. Oh, okay. Uh, so Hybrid Hunter oh. versus Warrior. I feel like the Warrior's got a pretty good matchup there. Some people say the absolute Probably opposite. did send RDU back again. Yeah. He did. Because hmm. who cares if Patron is stuck there? It's going to win. So brave. But then again, the thing is, if... Patron is stuck there, then they might they, try to narrow their you know lineups what? RDU's down. like, guys, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I actually have school in like a few hours. And they're like, okay. Well, if he loses this, he might have school in several Seven, hours. Yeah. So, gosh. Well, you're right. He actually might miss the bus. Yeah. He needs to play this <laughs> quickly. Yeah, that's why he plays aggro. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's really. why they picked their decks. They're like, you know what, RDU, we're going to give you like quicker decks to play. Well, they should have made him play sooner. Tice is waiting. Sitting on the couch watching his teammates, Kalento is going to be the next person up to try and stop the momentum from Nylon, but they've gotten an important win. Yeah, we'll see if... Uh, oh, there's the War Axe for Kalento, so it's already a decent start. It's just start based right. on Kalento is good at drawing that axe. But RDU's got a pretty crazy curve as well. Um, well, it's off curve a bit, but you can make it yeah. work. It, I think RDU has a really good hand is if, if he was playing against the more uh, like creature-based deck. Yeah. Because you have the creeper opener or the mad scientist opener into the juggler, depending on like what kind of class you're queuing into. But in this case, against the warrior, the juggler feels like such a waste. Why oh, did he get rid of it? Uh, wow. He got rid of the juggler, and he, he really wants maybe the, the lepernome or one drop. Uh, yeah. Both have been surprisingly absent from the lineups of people. I think over the past uh, the past few days, we've seen an ATLC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like. Um, yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. Like, the uh, the knife juggler doesn't actually do much if your opponent has a fire war axe. Yeah, Matt Sainz you know, at least doesn't do something. much. Explosive trap. Is it, is it still... Is, does he have two explosives? Um, it might do something I, if you have a bow. Yes. The only time it would do something... Actually, you're right. The only time it would do something is like if your opponent is at, like, 
two HP on your turn. Yeah. You just armor up. And you just like and well, attack you. you would kill. I'm saying saying like you yeah. would kill yourself by attacking into it. Mm -hmm. What is the trap? Is it double explosive or does he play maybe a mix? I think we've them? only seen explosive, but I'm I'm not sure. I've seen it the one time, so I don't know. I think in the hybrid hunter because they try to fit in so many cards frequently, you just see two of one trap. Yeah. And think, right. I think since we've seen explosive so many times, it's fairly safe to assume, at least from Kalento's position, that it that is, is explosive. Be explosive. Trap. Okay. Well, the, the, the dynamic of building out a hunter for tournament play is that because it's so expected, that's every reason why you should change it. Yeah. So you've seen people mix it up. Um, we've seen the bear traps. Oh, oh there it Speaking of which. Yeah, and it is an explosive trap, by the way, that's, that's activated right now. It feels so odd to actually play the like to not play the bow. So like, if you don't play the bow, you're never yeah, gonna get those extra charges ever. Those extra charges are huge against this deck. Yeah, they're insane. Yep. By the way, Clento has nothing right now. He's, he's literally nothing. He's got health. Yes. Shield block. Yeah. You usually start with a lot of health too, but. Yeah. I mean, shield block is something. Goes down. Cycles. Cycling is really important in this deck because you want to be able to hit some really powerful stuff. So at least he has Battle Rage. So if Battle Rage gets, and Armor up, I don't know. Yeah, if he gets Acolyte, he can Acolyte, Whirlwind, mm -hmm. Battle Rage, that kind of dynamic exists. Uh, but first he has to obtain that, and that's going to be a turn 6 play. Yeah, what I find actually really dangerous is that if these spiders stay, RDU's got the Freezing Trap into Double Abusive into Lothab. I think you want to maximize hero power though. I don't know if you At want to stage? freeze. Okay. Yeah, you have you have the explosive before the freeze. So if a creature goes into face, the face, you yeah, would lose both. At it, once. it explodes, then then gets frozen, which kind of sucks. Which means you have to clear every creature. A so I think. Charge. So I think you just like leave up the trap until it gets triggered, and you just want to ma maximize hero power. Kalento is going to give his opponent the opportunity to get some damage in for, I don't want to say free, really, because uh, it's going to be an overextension into Whirlwind. It is an overextension, so maybe you actually consider just Holding not back. playing the abusives. Maybe just... It's too, I, I think know. it's too much damage lost by doing that, because yeah. Freezing Trap doesn't do anything. And it's one of those scenarios where if your opponent wants to play something else, you can low up to secure your board. Yeah, like there's no way there's gonna be a slam execute next turn, so you you think your Lothab is gonna stay, and you're likely to be right unless you see like death bite, which means uh, which is very unlikely. Well, this this is certainly a whirlwind. Yeah. Um, is it I a wonder if you can justify like playing Taskmaster whirlwind so you can like battle rage? You can just clear with Taskmaster, by the way. You can war song commander Taskmaster if you so want. It uh, will eat up some okay. damage. Okay, I see that. Yeah. I think the the whirlwind after the cruel task makes a lot more sense than the battle like, rage. Yeah, than prior. I, I like the battle rage here because your hand's not really doing much. It's like you said, it's just inactive. You, you need to cycle through, push as far hard as you can to get the war song commander and patron combination. Actually, uh, Crip, if you attack with the uh, taskmaster into wow. explosive and the, and freezing was played <clears> afterwards. Freezing wouldn't trigger because it would die. Yeah, it used to be a glitch where it would actually do both, and you would mm -hmm. get like a, a dead minion back to your hand, and you would waste the freezing. <laughs> Because it would explode. But... Oh yeah, that's true. I remember that. Yeah, that was pretty. You cool. get a minion that when you play it, would just automatically die. Yeah. What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No? You get a frozen dead minion. When you yeah. play it, it just dies. That like, was pretty what? Hilarious. Yeah, it was. It was amazingly bad. Like that's <laughs> your your BS in me. No, no, no. no I swear to Wait, you. What? Yeah. yeah. Explain it again. <laughs> if if yeah. you attack with a minion that explosive trap kills and then freezing trap triggers afterwards, hard. which it did before, it just triggered all the traps at once. The minion would go to your hand. It would dead. seem like a regular minion, but then when you'd play it, it would just die. It would die right away. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Fun times. That was that, great. That sounds wrong. <laughs> well, a few things are still wrong in Hearthstone, but most things are in right. In terms of like how those, the stack would go, right? right. Yeah. It feels a little improper. All right, well, um, you know, the nice thing about what Ardu did was to eliminate the task match so Lothab can potentially dip yeah. twice for damage. Uh, Clemso... I guess his best option here might be to play the Acolyte. And armor up. Hmm. I mean, it lets yeah. you get an inner rage. But the Acolyte, Acolyte but... gets you uh, so many triggers. Oh, okay. Like with, uh, with the inner uh, yeah, rage. I'm, I'm surprised that he didn't play the Acolyte first and do this. Yeah, I guess he didn't want the, the draw. I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so here we go. Finding the Execute is a uh, primordial task, it seems. But uh, RD has got the answer to that, right? The freezing trap should ah. be able to negate. So that's Clunto's way of staving off damage. He says, I'm going to force you to kill my Warsong commander with your Lothab. But it's not going to work. I mean, RD has got the quick shot freezing mad scientist play. Yeah, I think that is the play. To face. I mean, that is, it's perfectly on curve. 
Uh, sure, you don't get the hero power, but I don't see a better way to negate an Acolyte of Pain. On a turn, especially with Kalento, you can't just not play the Mad Scientist, though. Right. That is an option. You could just hero power and get an extra. But then again, the Mad Scientist represents um, like potentially four to six damage over your two mana hero power. The real big thing right. is that I don't believe Kalento has seen a uh, Freezing Trap in this deck. No, he might actually have no idea and expect it to be explosive. Oh Could man! Right. Oh man! Here we go. You can you can try to attack, and then he's gonna see the freezing. But he's got slam. I mean, if he picks up the execute, he's gonna be okay. Oh, he's gonna try for the crazy explosive oh, trap. Like, yeah. Oh, the punish. He really thinks this is explosive. Yeah. Trap. I don't blame him. We haven't wow. seen anything else, and he's, he's played about, a few games. He's about to get. Somebody's about to get oh, punished. He, he, can, he can battle rage too. I think he might. N no, I think he will attack and then try. Uh... Yep. Not uh -oh. batting an eye, but... No, I guess you just want to armor up. Yeah. Uh-oh. Maybe Fire War Axe the... The Mad Scientist? scientist down. What if yeah. Freezing Traps there? Is that worse? I mean, you can still find the other... Like, in, you haven't executed least. <laughs> if Ardu picks up a high main here, we're talking... Uh, really, really dangerous position for Kalento. There are two high mains. Yeah, I mean, he is running low on cards. Is no, that another no secret at all? I, I haven't seen. Oh, no. I have a companion. No, only two traps. It's Ooh. not always Huffer, but Unleash the Hounds makes this kind of okay. You yeah, that's alright. You, you can do that, the two Hounds into the uh, Frothing after you kill the Armor Smith, and both your creatures are four health out of range of the Fiery War Axe. Yeah, but he gets armor. Do you like that? He gets one armor. Mm, two. I mean, you have one. to kill the Armor Smith, yeah. Right. So you, you put him one. into Execute. You give him the Execute possibility. You give him the Execute, but you already know one card in his hand is a five mana Acolyte. <laughs> like. Like, what could the others be? <laughs> I guess, yeah, even if he Emperor's, he has to have Execute. So he can slam for it first. If you get Execute, though, yeah, that's be smooth sailing for Kalento. Pretty much, yeah. I think so. Like, the, the Execute will Kalento basically win the game. needs to channel all of his energy into the slam. I mean, the guy's already in the po the position to do a Spirit Bomb. Yeah. So I guess they could do, like, a slam yam <laughs> uh, That's cute. Yes, oh, you're cute. he wants to guarantee the draw here. No, that's that's going Quite to this. Well, uh, this is gonna challenge. Uh, hoot hoot, they said. Oh, you're right. The Iron Beak Owl. Uh, still pretty bad. I mean, you're looking at. Well, actually, wait. He can't really do much with this. Yeah, I don't like. I I don't like uh, the Arcane Golem digging into that. No, I mean, there's no point, because no. you're just going to lose it for You no just reason. play the Arcane Golem afterwards, right? Yeah. Uh, you get an extra 6 damage to face. It's really not that bad. The problem is now the, 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 yep. the war is drawing a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't stop it, though. Yeah. You can't mm -hmm. stop it, so... Oh, Armorsmith. Armorsmith can be pretty big. Yeah. Could actually, and the yeah. slam is useful here. What is Artie looking for at this station? I mean, look at the health counts. Of course, there's the Looking execute. for quick shots and high right. main finishes. Double Double slams. Slams. Two it. slams. Yeah. Two jams. And that gives Kalanto the chance to climb back in it. All right, I think it is the double slam armor smith armor up play. That's right. Yeah, high main would contest this somewhat, and I'm pretty well actually. But there's yeah. still two executes, right? So it's not over. Not yet, though. Yeah, high main's not there. I mean, RDU you could pick up a quick shot out of nowhere and just cycle to a high main. Uh, animal companion to. Hustle oh man! To oh, he gets the arcane golem. More face. That's more face damage. Yeah, and it's then really not that bad. Yeah. Now the the quick shot dream is alive. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, I can see that. The respect. For, okay, that's fair. The respect for the armor smith. Uh, it's interesting though, because. Oh. You... But I mean now. Clanto seems like he's cleared oh, most of the. That's storm. pretty good there. I actually think this might be a two-turn lethal. It Would it be? Realistically, yes. Yeah, six it plus is. Eight eight plus five. 13 damage. Turn, yeah. Six, eight, five. That's what it is. Yeah. No, it's not so lethal. That's not lethal. No, not quite. But you can pick up one thing. To, to... Yeah, if he gets if he gets a one ping, he wins. Ah, uh, Huffer. There we go. He should have gone face with the Arcan Golem, right? Like it, um, just based on this Huffer here. It's hard to say. Yeah. I mean, we could say objectively he is not going to win without oh, that Oh, Liak again. Oh. Never mind. Oh, RDU. He's a one activator. Oh. Nope. How do you think Leok feels about everybody booing when he shows up on the field? <laughs> every time. It's like everybody's not, like, oh. not every time, but most times. Right, right, most times. I think um, it feels okay because it's not a real 
It's not a real uh, thing. What? I think Leog is pretty real. <laughs> it's just a car noxious. It doesn't have feelings. Okay. All right. Well, this turn seems pretty obvious. I've never seen something like this before. I think the only way you lose is like a total scumbag quick shot into this and that type of situation. Not even. Yeah, not shot, even that. Quick shot only does Three. five damage with the hero power, and you need to make up seven more. So yeah. it, it needs to be uh, <laughs> a Ram Wrangler dream. Is there anything? That no, can't... it's like literally there's nothing. nothing. Yeah, like it has to be like nothing. Deathwing. <laughs> if there's a death wing, that would work. Deck. Yeah. Already you got sent to the bench. And here we wow. go. Page Cloud9 is alive. alive. Yeah. Really alive now because yeah. they can kind of target Patron a little bit. Kind of. For sure. They can play the priest. Yeah. They, can, they can snag as many wins as they can until they have all the matchups that are bad exhausted. And well, then just go back to the drawing board. There's there's also some strategies here that some decks just don't work very well against the, the aggressive hunter, hunter decks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe you want to actually send yeah, those like out. Zulok. Yeah, the Zulok should probably right. try to go in here. The Zulok should probably try. I yeah. think I think it actually is the best matchup, and it's a bit weak against the Hunter, yeah. especially because it has the explosive yeah. trap. Combination sure. of both, definitely. Yeah, it makes sense. So um, I have no doubt. The other one is, is the Druid. Uh, the Druid kind of matches up pretty poorly against Hunter. Mm. Maybe not this. This, druid, this version might actually because yeah. explosive traps is a bit of a problem for this uh, version like this. Generally but. better than the hunt uh, mm -hmm. against Hunter than regular Hunter, I think, because you have so many small things. Like drew the, the same trigger trigger freeze yeah. trap. Mm -hmm. and they just like eat up the the secrets that you otherwise would have to run into big things. So. But these matchups are gonna be good for uh, for Cloud Nine, and they're only behind two points now. So it is. Uh... Yeah. If you just take one game at a time, yeah. and Not look at like, well, we won two, so it's about time yeah. we lost. Like if you don't think about that. The warlock, I think, is gonna be uh, the I, deciding I card. I think it's the gonna be a no brainer class. here. I think it's warlock versus warrior. But if it loses, then I think we're talking about like a mm -hmm. very likely. Uh, Nihilum right. versus like just the warlock alone could carry Nihilum forward. The only other non surprise for me would be perhaps Strife Cruise Druid, just because I don't I just don't know that deck. Like, how does that do against, I think like, it's decent against a hybrid hunter. hunter? I think it's worse against Patient than Hunter because you have so many like one health stuff yeah. that can go Flint wrong. Flint Juggler is sweet as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think you're absolutely on the spot here. The warlock versus the warrior, because and that means that E Cup. It doesn't matter if he's a zoo or if he's handlock, really. He just has to play the warlock now. Yeah. Because the warlock struggles against the hunter class. Dreadsteed. At yeah. large. Yeah. Dreadsteed. Can you imagine if he busts out the Dreadsteed, Baron, Rivendare combinations? Yeah. And life coach just has no odds. Way. The only yeah. thing that would do is make Shaman alive again on ladder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it takes. People are like, what does it take to make Shaman's Dreadsteed. Like, Dreadsteed. Just play Dreadsteed. Yeah. Same. All right. Well, we'll see if Life Coach can actually, uh, you know, stem the bleeding. That usually, like, usually Warlock just keeps snowballing early, and that's what you know. They still take the game the same way they used to against Control, but with the slams, I think uh, maybe Warriors a bit more equipped as Patron. It's just that the um, the like the the, the Demon Zulok yeah. has a few outs even in the late game, which I think is why it's so strong. Like, even if Life Coach actually has answers for all the stuff, even when he combos out. He might either get a bit unlucky against the Doctor Boom and just lose his combo when it, when he tries to play it, or he might run up against like a taunted Void Caller with and then you can't behind. actually yeah you, then can't, you can't actually really kill him right. It so, happens more often than you think. Yeah, so it's uh, it's a situation where the Warlock wins quite frequently in the early game, and if it doesn't, it's not a situation where it has lost completely. All right. Well, let's see if uh, I hope we get Life Coach's full cam this time. I want to see the facial expressions and the self muttering until the very full end. Full cam, so you well, want to see his face, body, and no. Everything. Okay, never mind that. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds yeah, pretty. That I, sounds cool because like you know, you're changing see, your mind. Yeah, but like it sounds cool because so you can you see like his do, feet. Do you not want to know. On some level, like deep down, I guess I do. That's creepy as hell. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> this backfired. All right. Well, no, here we no, are. No matter what, you couldn't have won. So. Yeah, there, there was no winning play. The game is underway. Bane of Doom. Interesting. I, I do. Did he? Did he play this in the earlier? I, part of the I have tournament? seen this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen. I was calling for the okay. crazy Malganus, but nothing happened. Uh, well, certainly other players played. But I don't remember if Ecop had. I don't think Ecop did. Mm, I'm pretty sure. Well, then again, he we can always ask just him. one or two cards. Yeah, we can ask him. But based off his hand, it looks like it's still just. Zoo ish. Mid range demon stuff. lock. Mid range, yeah, mid -range zoo. Yeah, mid range zoo right. lock. Mid range zoo demon lock. Like, you know, the, the Fast all in demon lock? Yeah, I like that. Well, Life Coach actually has a control warrior hand right now. Whoa! Shield block, shield slam, armor smith, death's bite. 
Nope. Get ready for Ragnarok. And a rogue turn one. Yeah, just a cartoon heart. Yeah. <laughs> no. I like Get how this patron tank, is. A... Uh, just a cartoon heart with warrior. It's a good Become disguise. Twice though. as miserable. <laughs> Maybe that should be our tempo storm. <laughs> <laughs> Become twice as miserable. Yeah. New lo- new. Uh, yeah, that's that's, slogan. that's a tempo storm's new catchphrase. Yeah, I, I kind of like that, what? honestly. <laughs> I got to get in on this. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds oh, after, like a bad deal. After losing the match, it's, uh, mm. yeah. our slogan's probably gonna change. Okay. Ah, uh, that's actually not too bad. I mean, the abusive usually is used up, like used to trade up into something like acolyte or armor smith, but this oh, is just life going to good do to, uh, absolutely nothing. Yeah. No, <laughs> like usually use it to use so another minion to trade up. Is what I mean. Oh, uh, it's it's got. Oh no! Oh no! He has the power overwhelm coin owl after the power overwhelm play. Oh god! I thought it was something. There's literally no counter to that. Yeah. Except uh, that's the best play against the. It's Armorsmith. actually the best play against the Armorsmith. Yeah. Yeah. You sound self the buff, and then you keep the. Oh, idea. you guys aren't trolling. No. Oh, okay. No, no, but like the the problem is that you give well, you yourself. Well, you play a two you... drop. That's essentially two two one. Why not just sign? Yeah, I guess. Silence the Armorsmith and forget about it. It's not. It's not a two drop. That's essentially two one. You're using two cards. Oh, that's better though. Like flame coin RMB, right? You can just power roll and flame it. Oh yeah, that's probably. Yeah, and then you can coin out the void caller. The only thing you're silencing in this matchup is the the acolyte. Yeah. Is yeah, it worth it to fair. silence an acolyte, knowing that your opponent knows yeah. that you'll probably try to silence the acolyte and yeah. get like one card anyway? Generally speaking, it's not that the armor smith like the fact is what annoys you. It's about the fact that uh, it kills everything. It kills everything and it has the effect. Yeah. Um, so if you didn't have anything else, I would say the owl. But I think there's a legitimate case for the coin game. void caller. Anyways, like just good enough. You can just flame imp and attack phase. Another alternative is to like flame imp and phase. Yeah, and then just like phase, just like ignore, like like owl this. But the, I like keeping the coin just for defender artists. Yeah, you don't really have a th- the main the main argument for the coin is that you don't have a play next turn if you do, use it. Do you expect uh, armor up shield slam on the flame imp if the flame imp comes out? Nah. No? Okay. Even then, you're like, okay with that. You're not happy, but your opponent just used drain life. So you're, you're not Yeah, but I mean, he has a death bite on the yeah. follow-up, which is kind of where, like, why mm-hmm. I think the play might be acceptable. This seems the most reasonable oh, wow. to me. Okay. That's, that's a pretty okay draw as yeah. time goes on. I still think you might go for the shield slam thing, so that way you can death by whatever comes out next. Yeah. And that's... keep Armor Smith as healthy as possible. Uh, he's going to go for the Acolyte of Pain, so one draw is better than none. Uh, it's sure. also forcing the Flame to slow down, right? So... Well, the, the Owl does so get thinks. complete value here. Yeah. Yeah. So he thinks. Okay. This is getting dangerous. If uh, more things show up later, he doesn't so he's going to coin out the void caller and snipe this. No, I, I, I think, think I still like the silence. Yeah, I like the silence a little bit better, just because it still challenges the board enough, and that gives you an excuse for the uh, the flame of the hit phase. I guess you are. Yeah, every excuse mana, is though. good, right? Like floating. you're floating two mana over the course of two turns, though. That's like the most painful aspect of this play. Yeah. And the really annoying what thing too is like... What if you coin your power? <laughs> Just on your vision? I, I don't remember know. that though. I, I don't I remember... think that's very, uh, very good. Depends what, like, if because he's playing late game, I, I guess not. Because you're yeah. eventually going to try to get out something on the coin. Um, so here, there's like... A... I, I'm surprised. I guess he doesn't want it to challenge the owl. Yeah, but... there's no whirlwind. Lucky for him, but... Battle Rage could actually draw him into one. Yeah, I guess he doesn't want it to get buffed through anything like Inner Rage. Really. Mm-hmm. Do you just Death Bite or do you actually... I mean, Battle Rage is as good as it's going to get for a little bit. If you so Death Bite, like, face or something, you get slaughtered by uh, the Tender of Argus. Yeah. So, no, I mean, Death Bite trade, of course, but... No, if you Death Bite trade, it's really not that efficient. Yeah, uh, Battle Rage is fine here. Whirlwind... Oh, that's a pretty good draw. That's, that's a pretty an good amazing draw. draw. That's a draw. crazy. Nice job, Life Coach. It's not going to work, though. <laughs> Why? Because I think with that draw, you play it and then attack face with Armorsmith. Do you? I, I would try. I would and double trade. I don't know. Oh, I would, I would kill both minions Argus. here. I don't know. I play the fire. Well, still trades with both the minions and you gain three armor. Yeah. All right, let's go for the ghoul. No silences left. Yeah. But, but the, the punish is not the defender. The punish is the powerful void terror. That's the punish. You power overwhelm the owl, attack in with the um, flame imp. Owl kills armorsmith, and you void terror the owl. 
Yeah. Oh, man. I like that. Okay, yeah. That's clever. The I cool like thing it. is it's actually, like, lucky for Life spot. Coach, he's going to be able to answer it just because Shield Block is there. But without that, he'd actually be in really deep trouble. I like that play. Although I it, love that play. It is susceptible to just, like, an execute. Yeah. But there's no trigger yet. No, yeah, yet. there's no trigger yet. The the Void Terror comes in at full health. I mean, the, the Armor Smith would survive, right? No, no it would the, die. the Owl kills the Armor Smith with Power of Whelm. It's a bit of a, of a waste oh, of damage, okay, I guess, because okay. so you're actually hitting for six into one. But you exactly do dodge the trigger, right? Yeah. Okay, at least for what you see. Mm -hmm. The fun of Argus is probably justifiable as well, because you actually can kill. But you lose all your minions, stuff. You, yeah, you lose yeah. like nothing. Everything you end with you end with an Argus instead of like a huge creature. Yeah, yeah. Six damage is a lot to miss, but I think killing the armor smith. I mean, the potential of that because the six damage gets transferred over. Ah, uh, okay. Well, oh, this turns out to be the best play. It, it's sort of. Does it matter? It does matter because you, yeah. can't, you can't, can't kill it now. You destroy right. the armor. Yeah, seven health. I, I forgot about that, but he actually can't kill yeah. it just yet. Wow. <laughs> big eyes from Life Coach. Seven. Mine would be uh, about wow. as big, I think. <laughs> well, Slam. It's, it's not quite Malganus, but it's uh, pretty damn close. It's getting close, yeah. A little too close for his, uh, for his Can you kill this? Fire War X Slam Whirlwind would do it, but that's like everything into the 9 7. Um, he can still take his time. Like he could slam it. No, he can kill this. He can do shield block, attack in, shield slam. That's six damage from shield slam and the oh, one from right. the armor smith. Oh, you're right. What? So. Oh yeah, with the armor smith. That's right. Never mind. Wow. How did I? How did we miss that? We didn't miss. Well, okay. That. How did I miss that? <laughs> oh, wow, I, I was talking to Frodan, really, but it's uh, it's alright. Oh, okay. Damn. I, I was confused by uh, <laughs> when you looked at Crib and asked that question. <laughs> yeah. I speak uh, for all of us. It's okay, you know what? I, I'll, I'll take the hit. Yeah, how, how do we miss <laughs> Well, he doesn't We're go in for this it. Together. The life coach doesn't think this is worth uh, using on. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think um, Interesting. he can still do the shield slam the following turn. But I mean, this, this wasn't exactly mana efficient either. Yeah. But I think ultimately what he's looking for is right. any way I'll get to kill this eventually. Like, it's on right. 5 health, so it's dead whenever I want. Yeah. But I'm going to take one hit pretty much no matter what I do. Uh, is he just going to defender? You, you cannot miss 9 damage right now. Yeah. Ten, ten damage. 9 damage is pointing no, no, no. the garage. What, what, what if you just go, like, you're saying defender of ours? Yeah, no, Hunter Keeper, coin defender. We're gonna, this is like the close thing we have to an uprooted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in this league so far. We've seen one, I think, but it just died immediately. Did we see one? I'm pretty sure somebody did it early. It was already one, right? But he just kind of oh, threw it out there. It was a, like a BM tactic. Yeah. The alternative to this is... No, I think Defender's just like the best play. Yeah, mm. it looks really solid. It's 10 damage, too. Like, you're forcing... If the war what didn't color? have an extra last what turn... Doing? You're just not happy. You're right, but you're just not happy about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, not, it's not clean. Yeah. It's like... You just give so much armor. Potentially. Yeah. Yeah, but you hit 10 to the face! And the board trembles! Not helpful. All right. Still nothing, but, um, I mean... Shield Slam? You, you have yeah. to realize Shield Slam actually works here. And the Whirlwind's also kind of okay. I mean, you could go Shield Block... Well, shield slam. Right. So what's what is the play here? I think maybe fiery war axe. Yeah. In the two I, three. I really like. Yeah. yeah and like then that. shield block, shield slam, ten six. Yeah. No, no, I don't. Uh, like, you yeah. can't. You can't like attack a one one. So you have to shield slam. No, you fire war axe the two three down. You sh you shield block, shield slam the ten six. Attack with a one one armor smith and kill a spider with a one four, and you're probably good to go. Yeah, just you have to think about as greedy as possible. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Like, like, if there's one one tokens, you would also try to hit it. Yeah. I think your whirlwind first. You just nullify the hit here. So. Oh no, you can't do that. You can't. You can whirlwind. get the armor though from the whirlwind, right? Like you get a you, lot of. You'd armor. gain four, which is not enough. You have to. Maybe. You have to shield block ahead of time. Oh wow! So you There's, could, you could. But uh, that changes the play oh, for sure. Oh, the play oh man! That's, that's, off the top. That changes the play. Oh man! Life coach's eyes got even bigger. <laughs> They're as wide as he can make them, but he can make them. Bigger. Ninety percent zoom. He just gained nine armor that turn. That ten damage is like <laughs> gone now. Yeah. Marginalized. Life coach is like in taking the entire Hearthstone screen. He doesn't need virtual reality because this is this, this jungle is also pretty big, by the way. This is a yeah. pretty big juggle if it lands. He has to kill this. Oh, uh, nope. Um, That's a little unfortunate for him, but it's pretty unfortunate. Oh, oh. patron whirlwind! Here we do. We come like and play the patron now, or do we actually go and play the death bite first to really get a double patron turn? Yeah. 
Um, well, I think the really scary thing is what's on the other side of that void walker or void caller, excuse me. It's not. It's not a question that you you necessarily want to answer. Yeah. But do you okay. have to? You could hypothetically just no. Actually, the, what's really dangerous if it's Doom Guard, and then you end up playing like patrons with and whirlwinds, lose and you have nothing. You would trade and lose almost everything that you've gained. Yeah, like whatever that thing is, if it kills your ba- your second patron, yeah. you're pretty much out of it. I think so, you have. I think you have six armor if you do that line of play. If you do the, oh no, you can get the seventh with the armor smith attack and the juggler. And, then and the juggle might juggle in the armor smith. I think it's like a 50-50, but you could kill a doom guard. You can, you can do seven damage with shield slam here. Would it be worth it though? Uh, I like taking up the death bite a lot because like you're guaranteed value from this, like 100% guaranteed next turn to just blow out the zoo. Whereas now, if you go for a risky play, it might just backfire and you do nothing. Right. Yeah, he, he's just. He's just going with the really safe play. Yeah. Hey, it makes sense. Uh, he's also got Novish Inventor to, to fill. I was thinking about tossing out Novish Inventor and then seeing what you draw, um, because I feel like it would be reasonable body. But this is also okay because Death Spite setup is really threatening for whatever comes out. Yeah, he cup is a bit behind on the tapping, but that's that's a pretty good card. Noctis is mad that he can hear sounds. It's yeah, cool. no, I was wondering if the, the, the door opened all of a sudden. Cause I, I kind of like the, hearing the sounds in the background, though, because it's like literally like Hearthstone Tavern. Yeah, we've been in this room for like eight hours. I like to know that there's like an outside. Yeah. You want me to open the there's door? More to life. <laughs> <laughs> there's more to life. There's more to life than this game. It's beyond those doors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we have kind of like a coat rack and stuff blocking the door, too, so it's literally like Narnia. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to find out. <laughs> Is there an yeah, open outside it. world? Yeah. What do we have to cast to the end and of then eternity? He comes there. Is it, like, am I oh, dreaming? Am I in hell, I have to cast life coach games for the rest of my life. It's <laughs> not that bad. <laughs> oh, God. No, but it's like I imagine somewhere for like not being a good human being, I could get punished for, for like, yeah, doing you know, I have to cast really slow matches mm-hmm. for the rest of your life. Ropes. It's not life coach, but it's me. Actually, like the rope becomes, you know, one hour and it's actually life coach to the end. Oh, that's a good top deck. It actually lets you clean up a little bit more than you already do. Um, Does it not? yeah, I think if you the, attack uh, here, you might be throwing your win condition, though. Uh, really? Yeah, I think you might want to no mission inventor and hope to get a war song. Okay. You can you can cycle two I, I cards. I really like here, the patron, right? Like attack into the two four and then whirlwind. That's giving you four patrons, right? No. Oh, that will change this play. I okay, that's, that. is that that's next turn though, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, you still have patron whirlwind stuff now. And then. If Ecop plays Lotheb, that might change things a little bit because the whirlwind can't come out, so it really negates. I think Ecop a little bit of the traditionally has played Lotheb in this yeah. deck, but um, yeah, it's really tempting to just save for the next turn. <laughs> God. I don't really need that. I mean, your hand's like super small, and you're, yeah. you have the man to do everything next turn. You can patron. You in you can you can spawn extra one ones if you with, want. With yeah. The MK bus. So like. Would you just like bump into this and summon the Doomguard and tap? Nah, that looks pretty good, yeah. Because like, I you think don't want to get man. away with drawing cards here. I don't think you want to mm-hmm. play Doomguard on, uh, just for its mana cost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, but you do keep the Void Caller alive, so if you have other like a second Doomguard, that'd be pretty clutch. Just this board is, oh man, this is such a disaster when it comes to, to play patrons. It, though, right? Yeah, actually, what's even cr- crazier is like. The idea that as you kill the Haunted Creeper and a Knife Joker survives, it might create more patrons. Too many, perhaps. <laughs> <That's laughs> realistic. True. And there's an Imp Gang boss, by the way. Right, exactly. That might also juggle on the patrons. Yep. And uh, if the Void Caller. Okay, it's gonna pull us out. Tap. Into Void Walker. Oh, oh that's bad. That's, bad. that's really bad. <laughs> oh, no. I think Life Coach just won the game. All in for Ecop. I mean, you could try to trade the, the creepers to get you know two more damage out of it, but you're just mm. playing one ones either way. So okay, they're, so they're both equally like they're both as bad. He, he plays around the uh, the disaster situation. I still think life coach is the uh, one. I still think it's a yeah. disaster situation though. Even though, even if he yeah. doesn't have lethal, bad oh, things. Oh, like, hello! Nox, just pull out the epic sax. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know if it's quite quite twenty though. You, you know what? You don't think it's quite one? 20, All right, I'll wait for like 3, some crazy way. Eight plus fourteen. No, I think it's yeah. like 
I think it's like too short. No, I think he no, is. No, we, we yeah. picked double whirlwind. I think you think the death by hit? Yeah, that's mm. four damage to face. So that's oh, eight. that's true. Plus it's it's the, five. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, what? Oh. Eight, twelve. Did we miss something? Twelve plus six. That's oh yeah, that's eighteen. Never mind. No, 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 no. no that's nine. He actually had it. He yeah. had lethal. He had lethal. Yeah, he still, coach I think he lethal. still does. Oh. Yeah, he still. I think he still does. Yeah, he definitely does. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's just like one step further than us. He's doing math. Just, Seven teams plus three. Does not do it. Yes. What? Life coach. He he's so Stop visioning. trolling. You're trolling us so hard. He's tunnel visioning. He, maybe right he just now. realized. He just realized like, oh, I believe. I have. <laughs> and now he responds to. Now he doesn't have response to. Life coach. He caught his pissed off right now. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks life coach. He's like, like wow, what the what is the rudest germ I've ever met. It's like, no. Dude. He yeah, actually just German. was so focused on clearing the board. And uh, that will do it. 5-2 to two for Nihilum. So that's putting them on the match point with uh, Hybrid Hunter from RDU. Yeah. Which, uh, again, we talked about the Warlock from Ecop as being a weak point yeah. of Cloud9. And that hasn't been solved yet. It's not just match point. It's right. league point. Right. Yeah. They, all, the, all the two and a half months worth of work <sighs> has come down to the next few games. Or it's on RDU game. to seal the games yeah, again, again, just as the league started, yeah. might finish. This will uh, get or not. Mech Shaman. Yeah, I mean, at least it's not Mech Shaman. It could be worse. No, it, it's it's slightly more consistent than Mech Shaman. But it, yeah. A lot more, yeah, Hybrid is. But then again, it's falling out of favor. Hybrid is actually a pretty inconsistent deck. No, I don't know about uh, that. Yeah, because it, if if you mulligan to the big stuff early on, you don't have that early game pressure. So yeah, the like fact four, that you have yeah. like the it's, big creatures doesn't actually matter. More inconsistent than hybrid hunter, but it's general. No, it's more consistent than. Oh, sorry, the mid range. Hunter. Yeah, or face. But yeah, it, it's with with the god draw, you're unstoppable. Yeah, I think it happens more often than you think, though. I, oh, they're so excited! Like these guys, they literally did everything they could. My coach is currently telling him, "I don't even know if I had lethal. I just killed everything." Yeah, like, uh, that was a little embarrassing. <laughs> but <laughs> oh hey, no, we, we've all been there. It was great. I think it was just hyper focused. I, I, I think it may have been intentional. Like, you think did you so? see Ecop's face? I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it had an effect. I don't know. It had an effect. It works. I, I don't know. Life coach I, is I, not I feel that like good. I want to walk over there and ask him right now. In fact, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do this. Okay, okay, bring him in. Bring him in. Sure. Sure. RDU has to play anyway. Life coach has nothing else to do. <laughs> I'm opening the doors, Noxious. All, All right. right. No. Oh, my God. The noise. We've completely ruined the audio quality of the stream. We should just yeah. turn it off. Oh, God. That yeah. jab. But, um, yeah, RDU will have to play. He's in a must-win situation. Um, actually, no, he's not. He, he can try four times. But yeah, um, like four, but four Ecop times. really was in a must-win situation there because um, he, he had that good matchup. But it's not it's not just that he had the good matchup. It's that he had the good matchup, but he has the really bad matchup now against the yeah. Hunter. Kalento's gonna go for the yeah. almost automatic win. <laughs> so the next game's starting, so unfortunately... What's the uh, verdict? Uh, yeah, he missed it. Okay. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, 100%. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and he started explaining to me every play he could have done. Okay. He's like, yeah, he could have slammed, he could have death spied, he could have done everything. He's like, I had 10,000 yeah. winning lines, but I didn't even he's just, see one. He's laughing at all. Yeah. So, That's yeah, all right. He, I, I missed Lethal with him for the first yeah, half. Don't of worry. That. You know, rank 17 player who's also watching and kind of wanting to play patron and you're not sure about your level. Even life coaching business. Yeah. Just try your best. All right. So RDU's got the math scientist open with. So always a good start. You know, of course, it's not the leper gnome, but... Do you consider actually keeping the explosive because freeze is so devastating against priest? That's actually a good point because you're guaranteed to get freeze out since you only have two traps. That's a great point. Uh, nah. I, no. think, I think the curve is still more valuable, ultimately. You have a decent curve. Turn one scientist, turn two glibs. That's insane curve. Oh, that's, that's okay, a little that's, bit more insane. That's like yeah. turbo insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's looking... Oh, and Kalento whiffs on the... Oh, my God. Oh. The uh -oh. That hand is a disaster. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Much better now, though. Better. Much better. It actually got way better. Yeah. The salvage is, uh, is real. I actually already used screw. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, uh, no, he's screwed. No, There's, no, no, look at that. No, no, scientist. look at Mad Scientist. Okay. Point scientist and then Glade Zuka. Yeah, I think Clinto's it's fine. happy. That is a smile. That's, That's actually so a smile. It's like just one card can yeah. turn it around. It's a simple one drop. Yeah. A simple one drop? Yeah. She has killed people by drawing too many cards. <laughs> the people on her own side. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. What a turn! I mean, that could have been any one drop, really. Like Zombie Chow would have been fine too. If it could have been, it could have been an Elven Archer. I think he would have been happy with it. Yeah, but it, well, let's not. It let's could not get too crazy here. It, it could have been, been the Yasera, and the game would have been completely over. Yeah. 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 That's right.
He serves next, by the way. Uh, well, I think if I mean Clondo just has to draw Wormrest Agent into a three drop, and the game would be over. No, Wormrest does not taunt. He does not have a dragon. Has, oh, you're right. But it's, he a, needs, it's a one four though. He basically right? needs Power Word Shield into the other Power Word Shield to really stabilize the board completely. Yes. Or um, maybe just Holy Smite would be fine too. Yeah, he, he probably runs one. Is Clondo is is Ardu just gonna pass? Oh man. That, I'm not sure about that play, but. We'll see. Oh, oh my wow. God! Crip, stop calling. Redeemed. Him. Yeah, but look, look at that owl. Three drops. Oh, oh my God! It's gonna... I don't know. I mean, I already think no. it's an owl. Yeah, no, no. Well, he doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but if you call that, then I call this. Damn it! <laughs> so we just call. But then again, you might not want to play it just because if a freezing trap comes out, you're losing a bit more out of it. You're right. You now he you knows freezing really trap is a possibility. Yeah. But he, um... What else do you play? I, I might just attack, no I, I would attack heal yeah, and then go one. whelp. There's Vel's literally chosen no chosen other play. On four. Vel's chosen in trade? No, Vel's chosen on the whelp. Face. On four. Face. Face. You're winning. Why don't you run by more? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right. Go. Whoever has lower health is losing. Co confuse. Sentence. Actually, that's that's exactly true when you get to the lower values. <laughs> uh, except for Molten Giants. Yeah. Though, but yeah. Except Patron. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You're you're at second seventy five. You're still dead. I wonder. I feel like there there have been less blowouts from Patreon in this than this final. Oh, yeah. than close. I've, uh, been close. Than I've I mean, it, especially with those Zudex, it always comes down to the uh, the ten hit points, and yeah. it's like ah, I can't reach that off the last time. Mm -hmm. That's a I feel like a rough decision, but I really just like attacking, healing, and then playing the whelp. The then... sun is coming up through RDU's window. Just want to announce that for the stream. Yeah, that's um, how late it's gone. That's how long we've been. Exactly casting. what time it is. It is seven oh seven in the morning. That's right. Yeah. And he's about to miss uh, home room. So does abusive with Glazuka do it here? I think it does. Yeah. Wow. That's a that's a really clean kill considering because he's he's getting a trap. Right. If it's freezing, that might be devastating for uh, for Calento. And it is a trap. He's saving the coin. Oh no. Yeah. He's saving the coin or not a trap to go for the high man. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know yet. What? I think it's a trap. Why wouldn't it be a trap? I think it's there. A trap. It is. No, it's a trap. Oh, 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 oh what was it? We still don't know. No, we don't know. It's, it's a, a real um, secret. Oh man, if it's freezing trap, that's so. You bad. you need to keep the twilight well because it's your only dragon, and you have to activate the um the crop. Oh! oh, he's gonna smack it anyways, and then play a knife juggler and. Uh, and the science. scientist, and then turn five high main. Yeah. This this actually plays into um into the holy nova. This? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, what else are you gonna do? If you if you play nova, you get a free ticket to high main on yeah. the following turn. If you mm -hmm. play only one minion in hero power, you play into black main corruptor. Hmm. So either way, Clint has gotta shoot this down. Yeah. With the power of black rock. All right, and uh, I guess now you're okay pushing out Hymen because your freezing trap's been saved for this yeah, moment. This oh. is the real strength of Hybrid Hunter, and uh, he's got the kill command, he's got the quick charge, he's got the leper gnome. This head is really good yeah. right now. I'm actually uh, very aggressive. I'm actually scared for a Kalento, but he could pick up a Twilight Guardian even. I mean, a lot of things oh, could help. Oh, no, it doesn't help. Yeah, turn eight, you can always steal, uh, right. you know, nothing. Time, time to steal the Mad Scientist. I think you steal the Mad Scientist and not attack. You have to attack next yes. turn yes. That after like Vulgin. Actually, that's a, that's you have to, like you have to Vulgin point. the high main. But then, I, RDU might reply in this exact case with Kill Command, Quick Shot, the, the Scientist, and Lepernome. Like, there's a chance he does that, and that I mean, still keeps him ahead on the board, but, admittedly, it's it's the only play that I could see going to make. It looks pretty good, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I don't think oh. it's getting much better. That Not quite what was planned. So, do you, you have to do you kill command at four five, right? Um, it didn't matter. <laughs> That's the last trap. There's no more scientists. It didn't matter. They took the scientists. Six. Ten, <laughs> this is so sad. Fourteen. It's true. He, yeah, he literally it really... cabaled a two two. That would have done nothing. Yeah. Because it wasn't dying that turn, and he would have drawn the explosive. I have, I'm, I'm having trouble counting. He's, so he's got like eighteen damage if he just keeps bleeding in hero powers. Would you do it right now? Like, because wow. next turn you can cycle the quick shot, right? And you've got Arcing Gold. He's about, to, well. he's about to steal the. He's about to cabal again, right? 
Uh, actually, yeah, it looks like like a play. I mean, Cabal number. Two, the thing is, Cabal but number I mean, two doesn't address twice. the high main. I think it's twice is a really big deal. Yeah, but I think that's what RDU is aiming for, right? Because if if a okay. Shadow or Death comes out, then the the two two stay up unless yeah. there's a Holy Nova and on eight that can happen. On seven that can happen. No, I think Vulgin is just better. Oh, you actually Shadow or Pain the high main now. Oh yeah. But that doesn't do anything to compare to Vulgen. Yeah, Vulgen's a little better. It's more mana efficient too. And you should probably Shadow Word Pain at 2 2. Yeah, you can Vulgen and Shadow Word Pain at 2 2. That effectively handles the beast infestation, but you do lose your board outside of um, a Vulgen. A Vulgen. Cool, just fine though. There's nothing yeah. wrong with Vulgen. Yeah, you're right. Just, just keeping the audience informed. Hello, audience. I hope you're well informed. They are now. Okay. The other alternative to Vulgen is the, um, is the. Uh, is there even an alternative? Because I the feel like, word pain, but yeah. I feel like that doesn't do much because you fill up your board with like medium-sized threats that tra trade into the hyenas and do nothing. Unless you're looking to have another body for the Valence chosen, but then again, yeah. Vulgen could do that as well. So I wonder if he's thinking about Cabal Shadow Priest at all. But I don't think you can afford to take another hit from Hymen. Yeah, it looks very dangerous. He must be thinking about it because he hasn't made a plate yet. Yeah, he's going for the Vulgen, it seems. So there we go. All right. Turns out the priest has no secrets in his deck. Surprise, surprise. Who knew? And, four damage uh, left. If an arcane golem gets picked up, unleash isn't exactly amazing, okay. but he might play it to cycle. It's just that weaving in hero powers might just be straight up better. All right. So uh, just going for as being as aggressive as aggressive as possible. Yeah, holding on to the uh, the unleash and the explosive trap. I mean, uh, the quick shot because he needs to cycle it. Yeah. There's still no taunts for Kalento, by the way. I'd like to emphasize that he plays two armorist agents and two, two twilight guardians and, and a chill maw probably. Uh, the chill maw hasn't been an auto included. Maybe in not for his deck. Because yeah, often, it's yeah, it's pretty good. The, the pro like it works in some decks. Generally, we have fewer creatures. Like if you play a minion based deck, chill maw is often a liability. Yeah, speaking of liability, stealing a minion gives the Unleash a bit more power. Yeah, but I think he's going to have to. It's still better, yeah. You heal yourself, too. So, we're looking at 3 damage from the Unleash. Quick shot cycle. If he picks up another high main, it's going to be really clunky this turn. Ooh, okay, that's weaving itself in pretty nicely. That is pretty nice. I just don't know if you quick shot this turn or maximize the hero powers. I think you maximize You maximize the hero powers, powers here, Because yeah. you have to imagine that each hero power is like a card itself. Mm -hmm. Except it's just a deal two damage for two damage for two mana. Yeah, no Nova for Kalento either. There's a chance I think Kalento like this is a deck or a, a matchup that I expect Kalento to take most of the time. So if it turns around, I, I'm not too surprised. The, the truth is Kalento almost has no cards that are dead anymore. Like there's right. literally like Ysera and maybe a handful of other cards at most. But he I needs Holy Nova though the most right now. Or yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Taunt, he's got really. he's got at least four taunts and at least two novas. Ooh, it's getting close. Yeah, let's see. If I think can you do can it. smell the one fifty. What are we looking at here? Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh, that's ugly. So you have to trade into wow. everything, no <laughs> questions asked, and heal yourself. Actually, wait, does he have lethal in any way? So we're looking at ten damage, twelve damage on the board. Don't uh, think so. Over the next few turns, can he actually pull it off? And now he knows this is an explosive trap. Right, it's another two damage if you go face. He cannot go face. Yeah, he cannot. Like, the thing is, there's a possibility that yeah, he, until Nova's picked up... I guess he's just going to uh, heal himself and play Blackwing Corruptor. It that, feels like that's the most logical yeah, line, but... It, it makes the Unleash number two so dangerous, but you know, what Blackwing can you do? Corruptor is just a bit weak. Yeah. Everything else, everything Would is kind of weak, though. chosen, then? No. Attack? Nah, you're right. It is the most aggressive play, the Corruptor. If he loads up the board, he has 15 damage, and then... It, like, we're, we're talking a lot about stuff, but we have to keep... RDU is two off lethal. Yeah. Uh, no, he just has... Uh-oh. And he gets two draws. Uh-oh. That's it. Kalento's just going for the all-in and hoping that... Yeah, he's gonna, that's, that's it. RDU's that's got it. the win. Oh my, RDU can't even believe it. He's not even happy yet. Yeah, yeah, he, he yeah. doesn't know yet. Oh, he, he's not sure, and then he... Yeah, there he is! is. There we go. Are we you? have ourselves a champion. Yes. Nilem takes it. Wow. I am actually so excited for them right now. It's it's not even real. Wow. What they a went journey. through. They went through the longest possible route with At the most every games. stage of the tournament. They had to beat everybody. Yeah. Right. They did what Cloud9 wanted to do. Yeah, but they didn't even have to. RDU just 
he had a rough series in the finals too, right? Yeah, that that it's, it's been double very... lava burst. Shaman. Oh my god, that, that's Shaman. Yeah. Congratulations wow. to Nilum. They are the season one champions here at the Archon Team League Championships and a rightful deserved champion as well. They played their hearts out. Thousand bucks. One hundred fifty k. Yeah, that's more than a couple. That's crazy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna see that amount of money in my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> you probably will. You probably will one day. Thanks, you'll, thanks, you'll, you'll be doing that's well. the dream that's the dream <laughs> and thais here is just yeah. uh can't believe it yeah he told me yeah. earlier that he actually couldn't believe they were second place mm -hmm. let alone oh look at him he was so Thais. emotional Tice is emotional yeah, yeah. life coach is uh, yeah. this is this is a really big deal for any player it and is. for someone like Tice, who's done so consistently well over years but hasn't yeah. really nailed down that huge win on a great yeah. scale well here it is yeah and absolutely. uh he can uh he can absolutely feel the excitement yeah, uh, all, all the hard work's paid off. I mean, you look at guys like um, from Nylum, and you just realize that all of them for so long have had to prove themselves. Right. Uh, yeah. Life coach, like a year ago, life coach, RDU, and Tyus were just playing in all those open cups, all those big mm -hmm. Swiss tournaments, all those huge double bracket eliminations to prove their names. And finally, this year, they started getting, you know, end of last year and this year, they started getting the invites. They started proving themselves. You know, Tyce getting back-to-back -back dream hacks, RDU winning dream hack, placing well at IEM, and Life Coach destroying 2015. It's only rightful that their consistency, their level of play, as well as, you know, the intensity that they bring to everything in ATLC was finally rewarded. And what's cool is that they went through every spectrum, too. They had, like, yeah. the dominant early performance, and then they went through a, a slumping period where people were downing them. And even in the finals, they were struggling, like, why are they bringing Mech Shaman? Can they, you know, are they going to be the right. team that's just going to fall out because of a bad choice? Apparently that deck was... Uh, they got through it all. Good enough. It was good enough to make it to the second day, which was, I think, the really big, big part of this. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and again, a very nice sportsmanship uh, displayed by Cloud9. A, yeah. a hell of a job by Shrifeco, Ecop, and Kalento for being able to secure the spot. They also get $60,000. They're not going home with anything, uh, yeah. with nothing either. Yeah, you can't be unhappy about that, right? Second place in a big event like yep. this, just, just the, you know, the performance itself is worth mentioning, but the, the, prize, uh, the prize money as well. Yeah. Is... And it's not all about the money. You, uh, we see uh, Amaz there about about the handover of the trophy, at least right. the two, right. two members that could be here. Yeah, yeah. RD is going to get it, uh, I guess, uh, by spirit. All yeah. right, well, so uh, I, I think... the award ceremony's time. Yeah, right? I think we're ready to hear uh, some words from the winners and uh, the guys downstairs. Let's switch it over to them. Oh, oh, yeah. Someone mute the TV. All right, all right. All right. Um. Hey guys, and uh, what a finale! Is everybody enjoying themselves? Yeah. 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 All right. So um. Yeah. There's a lot of people to thank before we go to the award ceremony. I want to thank all the teams uh, that came to the finale. So that's uh, Nihilum, Cloud9, Temple Storm, and Valley Town. Thank you very much for making it, and uh, for the online teams, of course. The, um, the teams that didn't make it, we still want to thank you for participating. That's Archon, uh, Force and Boys, uh, Celestial, and uh, Liquid. 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 Liquid, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. Um, Casters, can you guys come on over? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yep, big thanks to Frodan, Nauseous, and Crip. What up? We're doing great. Yeah. And of course, uh, to the uh, production company, well played. Thank you very much for um, you know keeping with all the um, things that we had and uh, <laughs> you know, moving up. Yeah. 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 Skip school right, today. Right. Okay, okay. So um, first Don't of all, out. let's start with RDU. Um, um, how are you feeling? You always seem to um, end all the series for the home. <laughs> 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 I can't. We can't hear him well enough. Right, no, no, right, right on. Right on. Good job, on you. Yeah. 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 Right. You, you should show them the crowd. You should show them the crowd. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
thousands of people do. And of course, uh, millions. Life coach, you've been in a very in a lot of stressful situations. Okay. So how does it feel to finally, you know, win the whole thing? Uh, very good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It, it really feels unbelievable. Uh, it was a dream. The whole league, it was insane, and I cannot imagine how big it was. It feels like a dream. All right, awesome. Uh, so before we hand you this, um, Cloud9, you did a very um, valiant job. Yeah. You, you actually um, did Almost. so well Almost. across every every phase and just really, really close in the end. Close. So um, yeah, it was a good job. Yeah, Do you have any... I don't think I played. I, I guess like in the in the finals, a lot of pressure. So I guess like I feel like maybe we didn't play like super good. Like all, I guess like throughout the whole thing, not throughout the whole thing, just like the whole finals. But uh, okay, yeah, I mean it happens. That was a nice series. Yeah, well, they definitely. Yeah, definitely very well played. But Nihilum is your uh, ATLC champions, and um, there you go. Here's his trophy. Kind of great. I like you. Kind of like I think it's earlier. I saw you. All right. Awesome. And um, I guess uh, we'll have some words from uh, our casters. Uh, Crip, you want to say some final words, and we can go down from there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's been, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a great tournament. Uh, all the people involved have been great. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a, it's been a lot to kind of make it happen. All the teams put in all their time, play out through the qualifier stages throughout the months. But uh, you know, all the time leading to this, it, it does feel like a great thing. So I hope you guys, you guys watched most of it at least. Yeah, and uh, enjoy the final series today. All right, nauseous. Yeah, I feel like I've actually casted more of this than any other tournament that I've ever casted. So I actually got to see all the teams play everything. They, uh, I mean, play their heart out basically. Like I really thought Nihilim would drop out. Um, like, <laughs> wait, 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 let me finish. At some point, at some point, and I felt like because they were so far ahead during the entire season and when they got sixth place i think during the uh, group stage i was really afraid they couldn't make it through the finals but after making it and finishing first i feel like this is just the the highlight of the entire thing so i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh yeah all right i guess uh, the next yeah. one uh nylon represents uh everything that the community should be about it's like these guys they didn't get they weren't given anything in the very beginning they each had to prove themselves from the ground up uh, no one deserves their victory more. Right? Like every other team has some other thing that you kind of argue that they were given an opportunity in the very beginning, but these guys literally started at zero uh, and they made their entire reputation based off it. So they deserve it through <laughs> and through. I couldn't be more proud of these guys. Uh, and I also give one last thanks to Amaz as well as the rest of the crew. Yeah! I think uh, the community has been incredibly impressed by everything you guys have done, and it's very clear that you've also worked your butt off to get this event off the ground. So here's to a great season one, and hopefully a future season two. So yeah. thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. All right. So a uh, big shout out to our sponsors, of course, before we go. Um, we have Alpha Draft, we have Amazon, uh, Twitch, and G2A.com. Thank you very much for supporting our events. And I guess I'll see you in January, where season two is going to happen. And um yeah. and yeah. Roller. Oh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, it. Yeah. 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 Are we missing anything? No, let's uh, end it. Great. That's it, good night! Good night. Good night.